All right, hello, hello, people. What is up? Thank you so much for joining. We are back with more Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. All right, so I believe we finished the majority of chapter 10. I think that when I go to the next region, it's gonna be the next chapter. I think as soon as I leave Cosmo Canyon, I'm going into the next chapter. So we completed quite a bit of story last time because we found out the truth about Red's dad. Which is the same... So, it's pretty much the same story as in the original. Well, 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 if it isn't my favorite streamer, Bloodthirsty Rebecca. GC, hello, how are you? Thank you so much for coming in. So, let's do... Let's start with a side quest. So, the plan for the stream is to just, like, do world intel around Cosmo Canyon. So we did pick up some side quests. Let's do this one. Because... Hmm. Where do I do this one, actually? Okay, what do I have to do? Head to the first life spring and take new measurements to compare with those in the previous field report. Okay, and that... You are one minute late. You gotta be better now that you are full partner. Was I one minute late? Okay, see, here's the thing, though. Here's the thing. I was not really late because I had my starting screen up. I had my starting screen up at 1.30. Or not 1.30. What time is it? 8.30. 8.30 Central. I had my starting screen up. I just, I just wasn't here at 8 30. well i was here but my starting screen was up i was behind my starting screen measure the mako frequency okay wait that's where i'm supposed to go what i'm confused where where is it i don't get it Okay, so I like to put a marker, like a personal marker, on top of where I'm supposed to be going because it shows me how far I am. Is that it? How do I get down there? I'm just kidding. You have to be an incredibly disciplined person to play at the exact same time and end at the same time. I guess that's your relentless nature. Yes. Yeah, I am. Pre I'm pretty. Uh, I'm a pretty on time person. Usually. Although, I mean, generally my end time is varied, but usually I do end around the same time, but it's mostly because, like, I have to let my dog out. And also, I stream pretty late. What? I don't understand how to get over there. I love this music, me too. I just knocked the kid over. Blessings of the planet be upon you. Are you in need of guidance? Mm. Oh, the sealed door. I guess that's, uh... Hmm. Well, we could try the sealed door. Because it looks like it's below us. By the way, you got Plasma Discharge last night. Just put enemy skill on Tifa and watch Sparks fly. Plasma Discharge only has to be activated once. It'll be triggered by itself in battle. I, uh, let me see who has enemies. Do I have enemies still? I thought I had the enemy skill on somebody. I think it's on red. 
Oh yeah, it's on red. Okay, we'll use it on red for now. But I need Kate Sith in my party because I'm trying to get him to learn that ability. Hey Rebecca and everyone, just be careful and take care. There is a terrible flu going around. My body is sore all over and feverish. It seems feels like someone is repeatedly punching my throat. I have been in bed for four days sick. It's terrible and awful. Oh my god. Kiki Mac, I'm so sorry to hear that. I hope you get better soon. And I will try not to get sick. Yeah, being sick is is terrible. I hate being sick. Oh, Bloodthirsty finally has a different drink today. What are you drinking? This is the strawberry, strawberry mint lemon, strawberry mint lemonade, charred lemonade from Panera. I think that's what it's called. Let me check. I want to make sure I get the name light, name right. Strawberry lemon mint charged lemonade. So it's like a it's like a strawberry mint lemonade with caffeine in it. I mean I mean caffeine because my stream pretty late. Okay, so I don't think there's anywhere to go from here. I appreciate it. The drink sounds so good. It's really good. Plasma discharge triggers every time you have a full ATB bar. I don't know if Red is so is fast at filling the bar. Ah, uh, okay. He actually is, um, if I press down square and use his spin attack, He's pretty good at filling it. He's not, I don't think he's as good as Tifa, but he's like pretty good. I don't understand how to get to that life spring. that ladder for oh that's just not extended how come it's not extended that would be useful the starlet i didn't know that place had a name we yearn to chase the horizon. Okay, so I think it's like what? It's like below me. I guess. I think. Well, I think this is it because that's green. Like a life spring. But how do I get over there? Or is it like right below me? I, I think it's like right below me. Climatology has made me a better me. Who is the little cat companion? Oh, uh, that that is Kate Sith. He's in my party, so not that many. So in battle, he rides that big Moogle thing. Well, it's not always with him. You have to, it's like an ability, you have to call it. He's, he's not a great party man. Well, I guess it depends on your play style. But I think for most people, 
he's he's kind of difficult to play as i don't think most people really enjoy having him as a party member i mean i like his character i just don't particularly enjoy him as like having a i don't particularly enjoy having him as a party member he's he doesn't do a lot of damage and he seems to take a lot of damage so yeah he's not like that useful as a party member it's also hard to play as because he's really only effective when he has that moogle but you can only call the moogle like so many times because the moogle will disappear from battle when it loses its HP and then you have to build up your ATB again and call him back. And then he's got different controls than the other characters. I just stopped looking at the map from a flat plane perspective. A lot of these places you are looking for are elevated, needing to find a way to fly there. Go to your map so I can see which one, please. I'll just load my data to see. Okay, so I am trying to get... I'm trying to get to here. But I can't tell if it's... I can't tell if it's below or above me. So I guess the closest... I guess the closest place is the planetology assembly. Okay, so I do see... I do see that it looks like there's some, like, stairs or something here. I just don't know how to get there. Cliff of Observation, lower level. Oh, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. It looks like it's in the observer. Wait, what? Wait a minute. Is this just... But this is in the observatory. Is this just talking to Bugenhagen? Okay, hold on. Let me get to the observatory because... I, I think it's just marking Bugenhagen? Bugenhagen? I forgot how to pronounce his name. Um, where is... I need one of those guys that lets me fast travel. to the observatory and see if it's just like marking the quest Blessings because the planet be upon you are you in need of guidance oh you're trying to get to a side quest i haven't done a single quest there yet only 90 percent of the world until okay 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 no but no i remember now you know what i remember i remember um He, I think he gave me a map. Okay, hold on. You know, okay, this is what we're gonna do. Um, we are gonna go to the observatory and talk to Bugenhagen again. And but I think what happened is I think he gave me a map because I remember complaining about this last night that I had to read a map. Yeah, it's just marking Bugenhagen. I have marked on the map the locations of the life springs you will need. Okay, okay, okay. To make sure not to miss any. So we do have to read a map. Okay, use the field report to find the first Life Spring survey station. Okay, never mind, just kidding. Okay, memory is coming back to me now. What? How am I supposed to figure out where that is? How come? Okay, if he has a map to it, why can't he just tell me where it is? Yeah, I went back to see what I missed and you went on a map around. <laughs> well, I mean, if he... Okay, why instead of giving me a map, why can't he just tell me where it is? Because he obviously he knows where it is if he, I have a map. I don't understand how to read this. <laughs> Okay, so it looks like it's like... Let me... Okay, let me see. Is it this one, maybe? Because it's got... It has a little... 
got a, a similar little thing here. Okay, let's go here. Let's go here and see if this is the correct one, because I might have already found it. Okay, I guess this is not it. Because if it was it, then I would have some sort of prompt, right? Take new measurements. How do I do that? Okay, I guess this isn't the right one. It would tell me. It would tell me if I had the right one. Okay, so, uh, okay. You know what? Okay, I think it's here. I think it's here. Because it's got this bridge here, like in the map. Okay, so it's got that long bridge, and then it's Cosmo Canyon, and then it's, like, all the way at the bottom of Cosmo Canyon, and then there's a little, like, little, like, rectangular thing. I think it's this. So I think it's, like, I think it's, like, right, I think it's, like, here. Like, somewhere right there. Okay, let's go check there. Uh, we'll fast travel here. I guess the tower actually would have been faster. Okay, I did find it. No, 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 don't get back on it. Okay, actually, you know what? I found this door before. Wait, there's a gate? How are we supposed to get past it? Or is there another entrance? Oh, 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 oh. Ah, it's okay. Really? Why is it? You need to why did he just show up? My mind. So if he just shows here? up, then why can't he just well, there's no bring me to them? I simply wish to see this with my own eyes. Oh yeah, I guess Red told him to stay home. Okay, I found it. I needed no help. Well, it took me a while, but I still, I did it on my own. Didn't even have to look it up. It would appear this spring has all but with her. Do you have the Mako meter? Yeah. Five. Good. This thing isn't picking up much. Hmm. I see. But it's still too soon to draw any conclusions. Let's try another location, shall we? We may yet get encouraging results. Go on ahead. I will catch up to you when I am ready. What? So if he's just coming out anyway, then how come he can't just show me where they are? The fo follow fallow life springs flickers with a dim light as if frightened. Fallow, what does that mean? See, they use all these words. I don't know what they mean. I just showed up too. Hey fam, Francisco, hello, how are you? Thank you so much for coming in. Did this man just randomly appear after asking us to do all this? Yes. He shows up with no shame after giving you that scraggly piece of paper of fourth grade illustrations. Exactly. Exactly what I have just, have just been going on about. Like if he's gonna show up anyway, why can't you just show me where they are? Oops, that is not uh, L1. That was R1 because I don't know my left and right. 
Okay, L1. So, is that down there on the right? Is that supposed to be Cogma Canyon too? Okay, I see a gate. Okay, let's just focus on one right now. Okay, I will look at the one at the top left. Okay, so there's like some sort of big gate. A big gate. Mm -hmm. So, here's also what I'm thinking that, what is this? The wild blue yonder. Oh, that's the main quest. Okay, here's another thing that I'm thinking is that I'm since I don't have all the towers yet, I might not even I might not be even able to see the easy yet. Um Okay. I'm not sure where that one on the left is. Okay. All right, here's here's what we're gonna do now. We are gonna go get the towers because I don't know, I'm thinking some of these might be where I can't even see yet. Doing great, glad to be here. How are you doing? I am doing good, thank you. I watched a new show called Food Tech. Oh, I've also been watching Shogun. If anybody has been watching Shogun, it's really good. But I also watched a new show, well, new to me. I don't know when it came out, but it's called Food Tech. And the description on the show says that it's the history of different food. What is this? Oh, is this, is this the part of a side quest? So, food checks, like, the, the description says that the history of food, and they all have different, like, foods in them. Like, the first episode is, like, cheeseburger. Cheeseburger and fries. But when you actually watch it, it's not really the history of it. It's, like, it's basically how it's made for food. It's actually very interesting. And they, because it's, like, how it's made, where they, like, show all the different machines. So they go through all the different ingredients in a burger, like, a cheeseburger. So they go through, like, the bun, the... Like the meat, the cheese, the the like lettuce, the tomato, and the fries, and they they show how it's made in like all the factories and um and like the machines and stuff. Reaper tail, large anthropods found in arid environments, feared as portents of ruin due to their vile appearance, namely their vicious tail and claws. Dealing enough damage with ice magic attacks will pressure them. Following up with fire damage will leave them open to attack. When pressured, they will become more susceptible to physical attacks, but more resistant to magic. Really, that's so, like, complicated. It's like, oh, cast fire on them, then you have to cast... Well, first cast ice on them, then you have to cast fire. Cosma Discharge. Oh. Oh, you don't have... you don't have, uh... What do you call it? Ice? Burn. 
Uh, okay, so this is part of that other side quest, but I just happened to stumble upon it, which is fine. Using the phenomena reports as reference, try to recreate the planetologist's photographs with at least 80% accuracy, though Caesar would, will accept any picture you offer. Press left to view the reports and press L1 to take a closer look. Once you have the right vantage point, pull out your camera with up and snap a shot. Oh, the picture! Right. Okay, where's that arch thing? Shogun looks great. I never got around to reading the novel, but it's on my list along with the show. And I love the vintage English accent that guy has. I'll check out those shows. Food Tech 2. Yeah, I actually, I didn't even, I never even heard of Shogun until like everybody started making a big deal about the show. And I didn't know that first, I didn't know it was a book. And then I also didn't know that they had already made a series out of it like there's a there's a series in the 80s of, like a mini series in the 80s also where's what where's this arch thing what sparks fly i love this skill it's pretty cool and yes red atb game is pretty good with charged square yeah yeah it's pretty good I don't think it's like, but like I was saying, I don't think it's quite as good as Tito, but he's, it's still pretty good. Uh... Okay, looks like we go over here. Okay, that's too far. Oh, whoa, look at that. There's a skeleton. There's a skeleton just buried inside of the cliff. Uh, let's try over here, maybe. Hmm. Also too far. What? I don't understand. I don't understand this. How is this? How is there an arch thing? Maybe, okay, okay, okay. Thought. Maybe it's not actually like an arch thing, but it's just where you stand that makes it look like an arch. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking that that cliff up there on the left, I'm thinking that's like part of it, but it just looks like an arch. Yes, Tifa is incredibly fast. You're throwing out unbridled strength like candy with her, like it doesn't cost anything, right? Nice level design. Love this game so far. A lot of heart was put into it. Definitely. Yeah, I mean, this game is just, it's so good. It's so good. Uh, oh, examine. Let's take a closer look. Uh, that doesn't help. Oh, that was very dark. Okay, let's look let's look in the light. Okay, much better. Hmm. Let's go, okay, let's go with Aerith is standing. Maybe she's got the right idea. What do you see, Aerith? Hmm, okay. No, that still doesn't make any sense. What is with this arch thing? I don't understand. Oh, there's another skeleton. Oh, can we go down here? Oh, no. Okay. So we only have so much space where we can take a picture. Like, we can't go anywhere else. I don't get... 
I just don't get it. Why, where is the arch coming from? When you take a picture, do they let you zoom in? Good question. Good question. Let me try. Press up. Take out your camera. Oh, they do let you zoom in. L1 and R1. Okay. But let me let me go over here. Still don't get where the arch is coming in. Maybe they just took this picture so long ago, there's no more arch. Also, the the stars look different because there's pink ones now, too. Oh, wait a minute. Was that even... <gasps> That wasn't even the right picture. That wasn't even the right picture. Is that even the same constellation? No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. <laughs> okay, I got it. I got it. Okay, I got it. 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 Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, R2. Did you even look at the photos they gave us? What? Are you kidding me? Okay, hold on. Was that not? Was that not? Was that not, like, similar? Was that not similar? same you're just testing us you knew the whole time exactly yeah exactly exactly I, I already knew i already knew i think Aerith is is just being rude i think that's a good picture well well maybe you ought to add photographer to your resume oh now she says it's a good picture I could probably get to pretty easily too. Uh well, it looks like I can get there from here. Wow, Aerith is so critical. Right, like I don't I saw nothing wrong with that picture. I have no idea what she's talking about. Like, you, I mean, you know, like, so many characters, like, criticize you for everything. Like, oh, it's so, it's the, oh, the picture's so easy to do? You do it, Aerith. Well, you do it. Okay, so we go up the path here. Oh, 
Um, no, that's too far, I guess. How do I? Okay. Do I need? Okay. Mm, what? I don't understand. I, I think I'm supposed to go up there. Okay. How do I get up there? Probably not from here. Oh, but there might be a path. Is it he? Is this a path up? Is this a path up? Okay, nice. Ah, uh, it's one of those things again. Okay, hold on, hold on. I have to heal. I'm gonna use. We're gonna use somebody that's not in my party. Their MP doesn't matter. Is there a, one of these Reaper tails at every one of these? Deal with that. Good to go. Leave it to me. Temporarily stop moving and gradually restore HP to, to allies in the surrounding area. Unleashes the wind magic attack. I haven't used this one actually. Oh, actually, I didn't mean to do that. That's okay. Okay. Oh, we can do move all magic again. Okay, Kate says master that ability. Nice. God, she's so bossy. Last time you walked up to the scorpion like he was a long lost buddy. Sonic Boom provides an amazing buff. Second best enemy skill. Oh, nice. I, yeah, I never used it before. Never really thought to use it before. Okay, so since Kate Tiff um, got that ability, well, actually, let me see. Let me see if there's anything else he has to learn. I don't think so, though. No, he's mastered everything. Now this picture makes sense, right? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna swap Kate Sif out. Who do we want in our party? Put Yuffie in. No, she needs some materia. Another elemental materia. Uh, we'll give her. Give her ice. What does red have? Okay, okay. I think we're okay.
Okay, so I got the arch. Yeah, that's I. <laughs> okay, I got it now. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. You can sneak a photo of Aerith if you wish. Just make sure it's a good one. Oh. the moment before it passes you by. This is a better picture. Because it's a close-up. Okay, that's a better picture. That's cute. Okay, but also, like, kind of creepy, I feel like. <laughs> like, we're just taking pictures of her. Okay, uh... Right, so, Aerith and you... Well, okay, I guess you can't see because my camera's covering it. But Yuffie's in the picture, too. I guess Aerith is just going to be in the picture. That's right, fine. In real life, this is stalker issue, right? Isn't right at all. How is that not right? How? I'm not gonna listen to Aerith. I'm, but also, you're in the picture, okay? Like you are not even supposed to be in the picture. Just one like, more left. If we wanted it to be Let's exactly go. like they took, you shouldn't be in the picture. Also, like I said before, like Aerith wants to criticize me all the time. Like you take the picture then, okay? You take the picture. Okay, so I want to... I want to get to this tower. And then and then we can get to this and in the last uh, picture place. You know they edited out Cloud taking Tiva's underwear. They said it wasn't appropriate in today's climate. Really? Did they really have that in there? Like, well... Wait, like in the beginning? You mean in the beginning? When they had that Nibelheim flashback and he went into Tifa's house? And then he went into her drawers? Okay, this is not the right way, but there, there is some undiscovered stuff here, so I'm gonna go this way anyway. I mean, I think that would be weird. <laughs> like, why, why would he do that? Like, that's, that's your friend. Oh, this is where I was before. I mean, I, I think that would be creepy also. And, and I, I wouldn't think, I, yeah, I wouldn't, Think that was also like I don't wouldn't think that was like cloud to do that. Oh, oh. this is the this is the next life ring which I didn't even mean to get to, but it's that's. Good. Long time, Becca. Happy pre-Easter Saturday. Just dropping in to say hello. I'll be chilling in the shadows. Hey, Iceman. Thank you so much for coming in. Happy pre-Easter Saturday to you, too. Thank you so much for dropping in. Hope you've been well. So you can't even open the life springs without Bugenhagen coming by. Well, this doesn't look good. Ten? No. Four hundred? The meter's going crazy. What's a GZ anyway? How do you even read this? <laughs> GZ stands for Geisel, his first name. Bugen he has a first was name? The first person to discover that the life stream emits energy we can measure. Oh. I thought Bugenhagen was his first name. <laughs> but that's not worth mention. More importantly, our work remains unfinished. We'd best get on with it while we still have the light.
It was never appropriate in any climate, but I kind of like artistic freedom. One of my favorite movies is Harold and Maude. Very problematic. Yeah. Right, like, yeah, like, like some, some stuff, some stuff is like not, well, some stuff was like never okay, but like at the time, the, like, you know, the society and with society and culture the way it was, like, you didn't really think anything of it, but like, these days you'd be like, you're, you look back at like some of the shows that you watch and you're like, mm, yeah, that wasn't okay. Of course, I've been busy, but well, I'm on chapter four of this game, so gotta avoid spoilers. I totally understand. Well, I'm glad you've been well. Okay, this is not where I wanted to end up, but uh, I am glad that I found it. that okay well this I is where I want to get signal. to the source appears to be somewhere in the canyon's ruins these ruins are closely connected with the life stream and it's thought that they were created to help guide it through the veil I have complete faith your efforts will greatly aid our planet these ruins are close, and it's thought I have complete faith your efforts will greatly aid our planet. It doesn't bother me, really. People get mad at lingerie football, but if women want men wearing nothing playing football, all power to them. That's just me. I mean, that's, well, like, that's something that they choose to do. I think Cloud taking Tifa's underwear, I think that's weird, because she, like, Tifa's, like, wouldn't have wanted him to do that. It's about, I think it's more about like, did, do they want this to happen? <laughs> like if, if they didn't want it to happen, then that's weird. What is that? Did I? Oh, I guess I have a suspect. It wasn't even okay at the time. That's why there's so many banned books and movies that went on lists. People were warned not to watch, yeah. Makes sense for a young teenager to do something like that to a girl he really likes me. Yes, that's weird, but that's the point. It's supposed to be funny and laugh at adolescent boys. I don't I don't think he liked Tifa though. I always thought that Cloud I always thought that Cloud um like only ever saw Tifa as a friend. But still, I mean, I don't like, well, I mean, I'm not a boy, but, but I guess I wouldn't really know, but do boys really do that? I don't know, I still think it's kind of weird. Materia, my 
you feast. No one will look at Euphoria and think of it as a product of its time any more than Harold and Maud was a product of its time. It was considered subversive or what we'd call pro problematic. Oh yeah. Yeah, I haven't. So I haven't seen Euphoria, but I've heard. Uh, I've heard it's pretty controversial. Investigate the ruins. Oh. Where are you guys? Yuffie! What? Mario, Hulk, she knows it though? Bob. It's so good to see you! You too! We were worried you might not have made it out in time. Nothing can kill this gloom. <laughs> Clearly. Hmm. Say, where's Sonar? Um. Yeah. Have we met them? The Splinter Cell. Oh, wait a minute. Were they in the DLC? The Yuffie DLC? I don't remember. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. They were. I don't think they need an introduction. Y'all were at the Shinra building, weren't you? Tell me. Was Wedge with you? Or did you see him? 1632. Thank you so much for subscribing. I appreciate that. If you can tell me anything, anything at all, please. Wedge, he... I'm sorry. Don't be. Just... I need to know. After the Sector 7 plate fell, the things we saw and heard... All the carnage... It was... Hell. We wanted to help. We really did. But how? It all seemed... So hopeless. That's when the call came. From the folks at Avalanche HQ. We learned it was the company that dropped the plate. And that they were gonna drop another... ...unless we stopped them. HQ needed volunteers... ...to help storm the Shinra building. This was our chance. We knew it was the right thing to do. All of us. Wedge and I ended up being assigned to the same truck. We'll infiltrate the building via the underground parking facility. From there... See, if you we'll never did the side quest, you'd never know this background. Every floor. Hmm. We've lost contact with Lucia's team. <sighs> I think we have to assume they're all... That's enough. First... We'll check in with Matt. On it. Let me just scooch on over here. I'm Wedge with the Splinter Cell. Uh, Barrett's crew, right? Mm -hmm. Here, try one of these. It'll help you calm down. Thank you. <laughs> Our team was heading upstairs to take out the president. I know what you're thinking. Avalanche doesn't do that. But when the plate fell, the rules changed. <sighs> That's gonna help them get up there. All right, we're almost there, boys. At long last, we're gonna take back our world, find the bastards who stole it, and send them to hell. Yeah. Yeah. I've got friends up there who need to know we're coming. Oh. Uh, Sorry, but I didn't want them to get hurt, sir. <laughs> Go, I'll catch up. Right. We were all fired up, ready to fight. Let's go! Let's go! 
We couldn't believe it. It was him. Thank you. <laughs> Damn it! No. Don't worry. It's all good. Bro. Hey, y'all heard that, right? That was Wedge. Barrett, those who pass on become one with the live stream. I know what you thought you heard, but it was probably just the wind. <clears throat> In times past, the Cetra came to fonts like these to give thanks to the life stream. There aren't many left, so we wanted to help preserve the few still standing. It felt like the least we could do, you know? For all those who returned to the planet. Hey, Barrett, why don't we give them a hand? Help them spruce things up. Is there anything we can do for you? I don't know, restore the planetary fonts? Oh, okay. They're this region's main source of energy. And kind of like relief valves for the life stream. But when they're as busted as this one here, you can't even get close to do repairs. Mako's way too dense. So we figured we'd use a probe, fix the fonts remotely. Thing is, the little guy's just too old. Probably better off in a junkyard than with us. Of course. we've got a solution. Robotics is one of my areas of expertise. <laughs> Meet Robot Chad. What? How did he do that so quickly? Or Robo Chad, if you prefer something abridged. At any rate, you should now have complete control over him. Go on, ask him to do something. <laughs> Cloud definitely likes Tifa, he's just weird about it. No, most guys are taking most guys are taking underwear, but there's tropes of young adolescents being so desperate to do it. I, mean, I don't know if Cloud definitely likes Tifa. I don't know if we have any evidence. Never seen a woman down bad, so she sniffs some men's underwear as a joke in a movie. Just funny tropes. Why'd they give wedge chicken legs and big upper body? Who here eats to calm their nerves? Mm, wedge. People like me are annoying. The underwear thing isn't my thing, but I consider some amount of American pie humor funny. Yeah. Yeah, it's more... I wouldn't say it's, like, really my type of humor. But I understand other people think it's funny. His death is so hilarious to me because it isn't tragic, sad, or theatrical, but more so just a fat guy flying out of a window. Why do they do him like that? <laughs> I don't eat to calm down. People in my family who do that are overweight, so I like to meditate. Meditate, no judgment. Yeah, I mean, some some people do, um, like, stress eat. I was convinced that robot was a worthless hunk of junk. Turns out, I just didn't know how to use them. Or they eat when they're bored. That fall death seems kind of random. Yeah, I'm not, I don't remember what happened. I mean, I don't remember if we already knew some of that? I can't remember. Because I can't remember what happened in the UV DLC. Or a lot of what happened in the remake. Huh? Oh. Sorry, do you mind I listen to music story? and meditate. I haven't been sleeping too good since... Oh, you know. Yeah, that sounds relaxing and productive. That's, I mean, some people are just like naturally drawn to like stress eating or eating when they're bored. It is a bad habit. Meditation is good. I use Headspace, but I can't get into the swing of it if I'm agitated. Headspace? What's Headspace? In Gears and Gambits, you must program robots with gambits and actions, then send them into battle with the aim of reaching the center of the spring and vanquishing the enemy leader. Emerging victorious will restore the planetary font. What? Wait, what? Play Gears and Gambits. Oh, it's a game. It's a mini game. Three types of robots can be deployed, each operating in accordance with its gambits and actions. 
which are programmed prior to the battle. Games determine the target. Actions determine what the robot will do to that target. For the first battle, let's use the AI set by Chadley. Okay, so if you have ever played Final Fantasy XII, they used this system. It was called the Gambit system. And you could program the uh, the characters that you weren't use like you weren't commanding at the time or weren't controlling at the time you could program them to do certain actions so you could like like i could program one of the other characters to be like use cure on on this other person if their hp be falls below 50 percent or i could change it to like 25 percent, or like something like that or I could be like, I could be like, use like, use lightning on like this enemy. And then they would just, they would just like do that. They would just like do what they're programmed to do. Develops in your body. My brother has been overweight his entire life. Yeah, like, some, I mean, some, some people are just like more prone to it. Oh, you're right. The Gambit system. Once again, you surprised me, Bloodthirsty. Yeah. Yes, the Gambit system. Um, it's, it's the exact same thing, except they're just using it in a mini game this time. Okay, so wait, I'm gonna, I can't change anything? Commence okay, well, they, I guess they said just use whatever Chadley program, so I guess we're just doing that. Robots can be deployed from any of the three portals and will, will then move along their lane towards the enemy leader in the center. Press X to view each available robot's gambits and actions. The it looks like lightning and fire icons above the foe's HP gauge indicate its elemental weakness. Try to deploy robots that can exploit these weakness. Type 1 effective against foes weak to ice. Type 2 effective against foes weak to fire. Type 3 effective against foes weak to lightning. Red Flan. What? Pressing square allows you to view information on enemy units, such as their gambits and actions. The same method can also be used to view your robot's remaining, your robot's remaining ability uses. Uses fire against robots weak to fire. So, okay, so it's weak to lightning. The ATB gauge in the bottom left slowly fills, and once it, once it has reached the required amount, you can deploy another robot. The ATB cost of each robot type varies according to its gambits and actions. Try deploying another unit once the ATB gauge is sufficiently full. Note that you can always assess enemies with square. As you can see, pressing L2 or R2 switches between portals. This allows you to deploy robots into other lanes and outmaneuver the enemy. The three portals share an HP gauge shown in the bottom right. If it is reduced to zero, you will lose the battle. Oh my god. If you are overweight in your teens, you have an 80% chance of being overweight in adulthood. Appetite is not equal and it develops differently. Yeah. And also um, habits when you habits that develop when you're young they're very hard to break as an adult that's why it's so important to teach kids good habits when they're young same same thing with dogs what did you think of ff12 uh it was fun it was fun it was it wasn't one of my favorite ones but it was fun king flan I don't, I don't know what that, it's weak to. I feel like I said some controversial stuff. I didn't, hope I didn't come across as a bad person. No, you didn't. 
You can access special abilities shared between your portals by pressing triangle. Use left or right to select a specific skill. Uh, what is that? L to move the area effect and X to activate it. Effective targets will be denoted by a visual effect. No, you can only use one. You can only use each portal skill once, so think carefully about when the best time. About when is the best time to activate them. Like your robot, some foes have advanced actions of their own. Such enemies will be designated by one, so make sure to assess them with square to avoid triggering their advanced action conditions. I'm defending something trivial and amoral because I'm worried about increasing censorship down the road. Censorship like on YouTube or in general. Remember, you must defeat the enemy leader within the allotted time. So this is a this is a very interesting uh, mini game. Phew. Oh, well, I don't have a limit on robots, I guess. I guess so. I guess it's just the portals have the HP, but I don't have a limit on robots I, I guess I don't know I still I don't fully understand but it was only my first time playing it wow it's a shame the others ain't here to see this who says they're not <laughs> good point what's that since it's part of the live stream I believe that light will lead us to another set of ruins. <laughs> and another font to fix too, I'll bet. Is it okay if we tag along? Sure, why not? Whatever beef I've got with you HQ kids, the planet's welfare takes priority. Okay, nice. We got another world until completed. Okay, that's pretty far from here. Wedge must have been one hell of a cook. Wish we could have talked more. The planet is incredible. Mm, it's okay. The pace around here is a lot more laid back than the hustle and bustle of Midgar. Honestly, I could get used to this. I'm with him in regards to censorship. Stellar Blade has been getting a lot of negative attention just because the protagonist is curvy. Stellar Blade? What's Stellar Blade? Bless you. Oh, thank you. Censorship in general. I remember watching Legend of Korra and seeing people complain about the characters having flaws. I don't want perfect characters who are only flawed in ways society says are secretly good. Really? I don't remember hearing any of that about Korra, but that doesn't make any sense. We, I mean, we would want more characters that are flawed. Okay, how do I get over here? Maybe I have to... Okay, I'm thinking... I'm thinking getting up to this... This generator here. I did this one, but I didn't really understand it much, but it was fairly easy. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't fully understand either. Oh, this one was like, I was like, how do I get up there? 
Okay, so I tried to what I tr I think I tried this before and it didn't work. Like I tried I tried going here. Oh. Okay, I found something else. Just kidding, I guess we're doing this. I guess Red's just gonna use his real voice from now on. Was never in doubt. Right here. Yes, it is. Trying to meet a remedy and a vial of Solaris. You haven't heard anything about Stellar Blade? It's an action game releasing in April that just released a demo. No, I haven't heard of it. Does it look good? The main character is just curvy and she's dressed in skin tight suits. That's it. Huh. I'll have to look it up. Yeah, I haven't heard of it. Where is it? Ah, right here. Okay. A healing carcanet. Okay, I have one of those, but it's nice to know I can transmute it. in there. Ah. An enhanced commander's bracer. Somebody, I think somebody has that. An enhanced spirit ground bound armlet. I don't think anyone has that equipped. And I remember Finn from Adventure Time getting a lot of criticism because he hurt the Fire Princess's feelings and she broke up with him. This leads people to think they're supposed to never make mistakes in a relationship. Really? Yeah, that's... That's not okay. Because... Uh, I, I mean, I... Well... I don't know. I, f I, have the I feel like I've had the opposite experience. I feel like more things are like not so black and white and more things are like are are more like morally gray, which I like. Enhanced commander's bracer. Oh. Cloud has us. Healing Carcanet. Yeah, we can make that. Spirit Bound Armlet. I mean, I don't, it's not good for anyone, but I could use the craftsmanship experience. I guess I could sell it. They were thinking about censoring Tifa's chest size, but I'm so glad they didn't. It's as if a woman can be well endowed in games or something. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, I'm glad she didn't either because so if we look at if we look at the three different girls in here right now, like they all have different body types. 
which I like. Like, they all have different body types, hair, styles. Like, I like that. They're all different from each other. Okay, this is, like, not where I was trying to go at all, but I guess we could, uh, go here now. I mean, the, really, my my goal for this stream was just to, like, do more wall intel, which is what we're doing. I agree. I believe most things aren't black and white. Yeah, exactly. So I think it's like, it's, people would like it better. That like people are making mistakes in games and movies and shows, because it's more like real life. So has your favorite region changed? What region you like the most and what region do you dislike the most? Hmm, good question. So I said my my favorite region was the grasslands before. Mm, I'm not. Sh I don't think it's really changed. And I I so I don't I am I don't know if I'd say I like don't like this region, but it, it is difficult. It's difficult to get around, and it's hard to it's hard to just like find stuff. Which I don't like, but I like the I like the region. Like it's it's interesting. Oh, okay. This way. Okay, let's go get. Okay, this way's the Mughal Emporium. I mean, there's different things I like about each region. Like I don't really like Corel as a region in general, but I really like the Gold Saucer. Okay, how do I get there? Okay, so well, let's let's go get the life spring, first of all. Love is something you have to continually work at, right? Yeah, I mean that's it's definitely giving people the wrong idea of If they think they can't make mistakes in a relationship. You have so much items. I've never seen so many unable when picking up items. <laughs> yeah, I like to I like to make sure I have everything. I agree, it's visually a beautiful region, but difficult to traverse. Do you combine Corel with Costa del Sol or separate? Oh yeah, that's right, Costa del Sol's in Corel. I forgot, but I guess, I guess, um, they're not really separate to me, but... I just don't, like, think of Costa del Sol when I think of Corel. I guess it is kind of separate. <laughs> It's buried in some nearby mountain ruins. Currently, a survey of these ruins is in progress, but we suspect they were built by the ancients, or others like them. Perhaps you could conduct an investigation of your own while looking for the transmuter chip. I mean, Costa del Sol is fun. And it's a cute, you know, it's like a cute little beach town. But if I were to, like, list my, my like, favorite places and the places I've had the most fun, like, Costa del Sol probably wouldn't show up on the list. Like, like I'd, I'd pick Gold Saucer first before I picked anything else. Oh, you can fa so you can fast travel to all of these, all these little ramps you can jump off. That's really cool. Okay, they they thought of they thought of that, which is extremely useful. And it does make it easier to get around. Love is nice and can be worked on, but I'm American, so I'm pro-divorce all the way. I don't want re the religious stay no matter what relationships. 
no matter what relationship is back. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I agree. Like, I'm not like anti-divorce. I mean, I think, I think people make mistakes or change over time. Really? Seventy five hundred gill. That's a lot, but I I don't really have a problem getting gill. I have seventy one thousand gill. I don't really spend that much. Ripping. Do I have you assessed? No, I don't. I don't know if I have that thing assessed either. Oh, I do. Weak to lightning. Prehistoric wing beasts that abide in arid environments. They spread their gorgeous tail feathers to manipulate air currents and whip up storms. They will eventually cast off their protective wind shrouds to send them hurtling around the battlefield. At this point, they will become pressured. Because I love Costa del Sol, so I know what you mean by, by Corel. Yeah, I mean, Costa del Sol was like really cute, but there wasn't like a ton of stuff to do. It was a pretty small town. I do like the mini games in it, though. I like that, um, that, like, Rocket League type game you played with Red. I agree you shouldn't stay together no matter what, but throughout your life, you're constantly learning how to love others, not just in a romantic sense. Right. I agree. Looks like these chickens are radioactive. <laughs> the chocobos? Well, they're different colored in every region. Be grateful for that 7500. So ungrateful, Blunderthy. <laughs> I mean, I'm not ungrateful. Let's see where this takes us. Okay, so I am finally finding these all these ramps. Okay, so I think I'm gonna find I'm gonna find some more stuff now that I'm higher in the air. Okay, what tower is that? What tower is that? Oh my god! Oh my god! Is this the tower I was trying to get to? <gasps> no. Okay. Oh. <gasps> okay. I almost fell. Okay. Okay. But you know what? Um. That's okay. Even if I fell, I could just fast travel back to that ramp. Okay, I forgot about that. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Oh, a tower. Oh, a tower. Yes, this was the tower I was looking for. Don't overdo it. Go. Here I go. Want to beg for mercy? Get lost. 
Marriage is a concept created by the finite life we live, so divorce to me is perfectly fine. If we live for two million years, it would feel like slavery to be married that long. You can amicably divorce. I totally agree. I think just because you, like, don't want to be in a relationship with somebody anymore, it doesn't mean that you, like, hate them. Hi, Rebecca, how are you? How's your day going? Hey, Ben. I'm good. How are you? Thank you so much for coming in. How's your day? I used to really like just like small talk. I love going abstract, but I learned to make small talk because it's low key an expression of affection. I actually really like small talk. I don't understand when like there's so many people on Reddit that say they hate small talk. Like, oh my God, I can't stand talking to my coworkers because they hate small talk. But I'm like, that's how you get to know somebody. Like you start with the small talk. Like I didn't become friends with my friends like right away like we had to make small talk first like that's, that's how you get to know people <laughs> that gasp for air when you almost fell <laughs> the struggle is real over here okay you i mean my like literally my like my heart almost stopped uh, how do i get to that other box I used to dislike One Piece until I fell in love with a woman who liked it. It didn't work out between us, but I gave One Piece a chance and now it's one of my favorites. Oh, really? Yeah, and I like I like that about um, like people that are different from you too. Like, I wouldn't want to date somebody who's like exactly the same as me. Because then you get exposed to different things. Okay, I don't know how to get to these boxes. Ben, thank you so much for the 99 cents. I appreciate that. When you're using Assess so well, I wonder who taught you how to assess. <laughs> oh, just some viewer who's started watching my streams. Okay, how, how do I get to this? How do I get to you? the boxes anyway all right uh so i mean this excavation thing is right here might as well do this and there's a shrine nearby also <laughs> oh there's a okay hold on there's a life spring Nice! I'm doing so much world intel! There's a trend I have noticed that people are not necessarily getting into relationships and choosing to be single or not go into them so fast. Oh. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's good. Because I feel like some people just, like, go into relationships just because they think that's what they're supposed to do, or they're lonely. And, um, not, but not, like, everybody is meant to be in a relationship, you know? Like, some people are happier being by themselves. Or some people are 
some people are aromantic, which means that they, they just like don't desire romantic relationships with people. In the distant past, the Setra made contact with the Gi, entities who could not return to the life stream. Pitting their plight, the Setra built, built altars to commune with and calm these tormented souls in hope of in the hope of finding a means to coexist peaceably. Over time, the Setra grew increasingly aware of the dire fate that would befall the planet and resolved to entrust their knowledge to the people of Cosmo Canyon. These teachings would become the foundation of planetology, which continues to be refined through research and discourse even as it is spread throughout the world. When the Setra finally departed Cosmo Canyon, none remained to provide solace to the Gi, who in their festering anguish and rage were driven to turn on the villagers. Many brave warriors gave their lives to beat back these vengeful spirits, entombing them in their prison once more. Okay, I still don't understand though, where did the Gi come from? Like they said that things that didn't come from the planet cannot return to the life stream. So how, where did the Gi come from? You know, there's some people out there who don't want to be in a relationship or have been in a relationship before whom have gone through heartbreak. Even amongst people my age that are for like 36 that are happy and single being alone. Yeah, but I, I mean, like everybody is different, right? Like everybody, everybody is happy doing different things. And there is a lot of, um, there's a lot of like judgment and pressure on living your life a certain way. Like, you have to get married and you you have to like you have to get married and you have to have kids and you know like but every like there's so many different kinds of relationships people are happy doing different things like some people some people like don't want kids some people don't like just want to like you know they don't want to be in a relationship with somebody else they are happy you're being alone some people are gay some people you know like it's just like some people want an open marriage like you know like some people everybody's different but due to like society pressures i think a lot of people just get into relationships like just because of societal pressure and expectations from like their family and culture Oh, it's up there. Nothing wrong with being alone. My friend has been married twice. Married both only after a year. To him, it doesn't feel right if he isn't married like he failed. Yeah. Yeah, like a lot of people are like, get pressured into like the, the you know, quote unquote, normal family life. And the one thing that makes me mad is that you have people of communities of streamers try to pressure them to be in a relationship by shipping them with their friends that's weird and disgusting to me. Yeah. Oh yeah, that I think that also happens with like non-streamers. Because I I would have friends that um like if like let's say um somebody wanted to like go out with me or somebody liked me and then i would have i would have friends being like well why don't why don't you go out why don't you go out with him and now i would be like because i'm not interested and they would they would like tell me i should go out with him anyway like well you should just try it anyway i'm like well i don't like i'm not interested like that should be the end of it But I do think that it's not always coming from a bad place. Like, I do think, like, at least most of my friends, they just wanted to, like, see me be happy. So they didn't, like, mean anything by it. They just, like, thought they were helping me. According to one of the canyon's legends, Bahamut once took shelter somewhere in these lands after being severely wounded in a fierce battle. Said to represent the divine protection the Earth bestowed upon it during the entity's long convalescence. I 
especially amongst anonymous accounts that are on Twitter or YouTube for harassing and stalking streamers. Yeah, streamers, um, streamers definitely have a problem with that. I think streamers especially have issues with stalking and harassment because, um, like streamers get put in, especially streamers, because we talk to people in real time and like people, viewers can talk directly to us. And so we, there's a lot of parasocial relationships going on, especially since like people can donate money and things to us. So they feel entitled to streamers like time and, and they, they feel like they can like make decisions for the streamer or they feel like they can like tell streamers what to do because they donate money and time to them and they talk directly to us. I mean, I just think streamers are like put in this like weird position. Circle. To be fair, most relationships come from meeting at school, work, church, or friends of friends. I'm sure your dad didn't meet your mother in Walmart, the fourth row. So it's the environment people are used to when it comes to engaging. However, you don't force people to date. Right. Yeah. I mean, like I said, like, I don't think there was anything like bad behind it. Like they just wanted to, they just wanted to like see me happy. Like if I was single, then they just like assumed I wasn't happy <laughs> and they just wanted to see me be happy. But like, I don't, I'm, I'm just like, I'm just not the kind of person that like, I, I know some people that are like this and that's, I don't see any, there's nothing wrong with it, but we, we just like operate differently. Like I have some friends that will, will go out with people that they're like, I, they're not really sure about, or, you know, like, because they they think that oh maybe like when we're on a date i'll feel differently or maybe you know like things will change when i get to know this person and maybe you know like i'll have i'll start having feelings but like i just don't operate that way like i don't i don't really like go out with people that i'm like not interested in in the first place you know what i mean like that's just the way that i am like I, I, there's nothing wrong with either way but some friends think that like I operate the same way they do. So if like somebody's interested in me and they want to go out with me, I have some friends that'll be like, well, just, just go out with him. Just go out with him and maybe you'll feel differently. I personally don't like doing that, but like some people, that's the way they date. Hello, Rebecca and everyone. The right stuff, hello. Thank you so much for coming in. How are you? And... Yeah, you have to use people who go into the streamers' chats and exorbitant amounts of money to tell streamers, especially female streamers, and tell them to do, say, for example, telling them to twerk. Right. Yeah, uh, I... I mean, I think all streamers get, like, get it to some extent. Um, I mean, yeah, like, yeah, like, girl streamers, they get a lot of harassment. So do guy streamers, though, but, like, they do, they get it in different ways. But I think streamers in general, like no matter who you are, like no matter if you're like a guy or a girl, like you're, we're gonna have this, all the same problems with like parasocial re relationships and people thinking they can like just tell us, telling people think they can just like tell us to do whatever they want because they they have like a direct line to speak to us to donate money to us. So it, I think it's just like a weird position. I think we're just in a weird position. And this, you know, th this kind of thing is still relatively new. I mean, I know some of the bigger streamers have been streaming for like 10 years, but if we look at like, they're the ones that like made streaming and content creator like a career. So if we look at the history of like careers, 10 years is like still like a very young job field. I mean, let let's take like, you know, the, the, the job of like doctors and nurses and like like you know like medical workers like that is a very old job right so like 10 years in like as a streamer that's like nothing like when you know the job didn't even exist before you didn't even make money off of it before there was live streaming before but you didn't make money off of it like you do now time to use a good old memorization noggin you got this i appreciate that juicy I'm great. Thanks for asking. Good to hear. Good to hear the right stuff. How was your day? True. Yeah, I mean, I just like, it's been very interesting. <laughs> it's been very interesting as a streamer to discover all these things. Like, you know, I didn't, 
I didn't know when I went into streaming. I didn't know like any, you know, I obviously I didn't know because I hadn't experienced it yet because I hadn't done streaming, but it, it's been very interesting. Like I, I definitely have been experiencing a lot of things that I like wasn't prepared for. I wasn't prepared for it and I like didn't expect. Circle, triangle, XX, circle, triangle, XX. Okay, so it's the same thing. It's a, it's a pattern of circle, triangle, XX. Circle, triangle, XX. Circle, triangle, XX. Circle, triangle, XX. <gasps> oh, I just missed it. Circle, triangle, XX. Circle, triangle. Oh. See, I know the buttons. I just can't. I'm just not putting it in the right place. You gotta do this quick. Ah, oh, finally. Exactly, Rebecca. So how dare you? That guy spent a whole 99 cents and you didn't ask him his, his right. Exactly. <laughs> the charm it was it, it was a, it was a charm okay 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 so we got actually oh i was looking for so i was looking for this so i got that okay so now we got to do this moogle intel um and then we've got some fiend intel and this thing i seen you're in texas i'm in pensacola i drove down to boca chica for the 420 launch oh nice Yes, I am in Texas. However, originally I'm from Massachusetts. So I'm not a Texas native, but I do love Texas. Like I honestly, I did not think that I would stay in Texas. I always thought that I would move back home, but I love Texas. Like I don't want to move back. And plus you're still relatively new when it comes to streaming. You've only been streaming for like maybe two or three years or so. And plus your channel is still relatively small, right? Yeah, I've only been streaming for, well, it'll, it'll be three years in June, but it'll be, I'd say it's like two and a half years on YouTube. Because, you know, I started on Twitch. Okay, you know what? I am going to go take a break, but when I come back, we are going to do some more world intel. So I will be right back.
Okay, we are back. All right, so, you know, I usually am not like a big side quest person. Like I will do, I'll do, typically I'll do like a lot. I, I will do like a lot of side quests, but not as many as I'm doing in this game. But I like that because typically I find with side quests, they're not, they don't really add that much. It's just kind of like fetch quests or like kill this thing. But I like that in this game, it adds like these side quests add to the characters backstories or their character development or their like you find out you just find out more about like all the characters like like if i hadn't done that if i hadn't if i hadn't done that um what do you call it that uh world intel with the the font thing i wouldn't have found out that that whole story about wedge okay moogle intel how do i get to you Or Moogle Emporium. How do I get to you? Must be one of these other ramps. What streamers do you watch, if any? Um, I like, uh, so when it comes to like big streamers, I like Ludwig and Disguised Toast. So. I like them because, first of all, I think they're hilarious. Like, they have definitely got my kind of humor. But I also really like them because they they provide a lot of, um, like, analytical insight into streaming and the content creation industry. Like, the kind of topics that I'm interested in. And I find, like, a lot of the big streamers don't really comment on stuff like that. But I, I also just like really like their humor. Like I think their humor is like very similar to mine. And then I have some other streamers that I watch that are like, like my friends or like s s small streamers like my like myself. You have been doing a lot of side quests in this game. I know. I usually don't do this many. I think it's a FF7 Crisis Core thing where side quests add to the canon. Honestly, I, I have played Crisis Core, but honestly, I don't remember a lot of it. But yeah, I yeah, like I like that about it. Like I that's the only reason I'm doing as many side quests as I am. Because it, it does add to the can yeah. To the canon. That's a good word for it. But I was like, oh, it adds to the other characters' personalities and and character development and background, and I could have just said canon. That's a way better word for it. I heard about Ludwig because of Hassan. Who is this toast guy? Oh, disguised toast. So his, he started as a Hearthstone, like, um, content creator. So he, he would post stuff on Reddit about Hearthstone. You know, Hearthstone, the card game. I mean, I don't really know anything about it. I only know about it because, like, disguised toast started as like a Hearthstone uh, player and uh, content creator. And at first he he didn't um, show his face ever. Now he does, but at first he had um, like a picture of like a, to like a piece of toast with a face on it. Because, you know, his name was Disguised Toast. And he just, he's like, you know, these other, he's kind of like these other big streamers. He like plays a variety of games. He collaborates with a bunch of other streamers. How do I get to... Hello, Rebecca MC and everyone. Hey, AJ1, how are you? Thank you so much for coming in. Oh my God, how do I get to this? <sighs> I can't fly off of this one. Okay, so I guess some of these are like landing only.
Nope. Wrong menu. Hmm. It lo I mean, it looks like... Ugh. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> this place is so hard to get around. Oh, how do I get over there? Have I been over there? Is it what? Okay. Um I don't know if I oh, oh okay, so there's the there it is. Okay, how do I get up there? Okay. Hmm. Uh okay, let's wait. Is that the one I fast travel to? I have no idea. No, I don't think so. Okay, let's do this. Oh, disguise toast. I thought you said the sky is toast. The handsome Asian guy, right? Yes, disguise toast. Yes, the Asian guy. The right stuff. Thank you so much for becoming a member. Welcome to standing room. Oh, did the alert play? Hold on. Let me replay that. Okay, there we go. Because I didn't see that or hear it. Thank you so much for becoming a member. I really appreciate that. Okay. No, stop doing that. Pick the wrong map again, or menu again. Okay. Um, I don't know if I, I don't think I went this way. I think because I got distracted by the live stream, but I don't think I've been this way yet. Oh, by the way, I'm, a star I'm starting to hate the Moogle mini games. They're really annoying. I At first, I liked them. At first, I was like, oh, this is cute and it's fun. No, not anymore. Okay, I think I found it. into silent mode for a bit okay sounds good thanks for not locking chat to members only yeah i mean i well i don't even have my chat on subscribers only wait a minute i'm just back at the same place i was that didn't help yeah If I have my chat on subscribers only and people come in, how will they know if they want to subscribe to me if they don't like talk to me first and get to know me at least a little bit? Exactly. Yeah, I find, well, I find people on YouTube are, like, more, they're more wary than people on Twitch. Like, they have more, they have more restrictions on their channel. Oh, Bahamut. I think you must have posted something that Streamlabs thinks is a link. You might have had a period and not a space somewhere. Oh my god. I don't know if they expect you to get anywhere in this game, in this region. Oh, what is, what is up here? Wait a minute, have I been up here? I have no idea. Oh, oh, 
Oh. I have not been up here. Wait, what? This isn't... Isn't this the last life spring? This isn't it? Okay, I guess this is not the one Bugenhagen was looking for. Okay, we gotta check up a stop, though. Okay, I haven't been over here. Okay, so this is at least... This is somewhere new. PC or laptop? Am I on a PC or laptop? I'm on a PC. I don't think a laptop could run my stream and the game at the same time. My bad, I was typing really fast. Oh, I found it, I found it. That's okay, Bahama, it happens. Honestly, what do you like? Okay, I've started to hate these because they've just become really annoying. They're, they were fun at first. But now they have become really annoying and difficult. You know what? Why don't you do it, Kubo? Oh, I can't jump over those? Oh my god. Really? Okay, let's start that over. Lower the difficulty? Oh, I didn't know you could do this. <laughs> oh my god, the game really just, the game really tells you like, yeah, you kind of suck. You want to lower the difficulty? You could do that. Then uh, clearly you can't do this yourself. I just got, uh, is it ROG or ROG? Strix laptop. 64... GB RAM hoping I'm able to stream in the future. I don't know anything about that particular laptop, but I mean, I'm sure you can make it work. But like the, like this game is very like resource intensive. hit twice. Oh, that, that's new. They added those mushrooms. God, see now they can they used to not be able to still shoot at you when they were inside the fence after you rounded them up. Over these. Over 
That's not where I want to go. Finally. Thanks so much, Koopa. It's Aces RTX forty sixty. Okay, I don't know anything about that model or laptop, but like the stuff, like my stream and like some of the games I play use up a lot of resources. I hope that you'll see it grow. So I need like a pretty good, I need a pretty good like desktop PC. I apologize in advance for this experience. <laughs> yeah, but I don't like these games. I don't like these Moogle games anymore. The Moogle mini games are very annoying. Yeah, they used to not be. They used to be like fine. <laughs> Like at first I was like, oh, these are cute, but now they're just annoying. I think I think I'm okay with everything. I don't really need healing materia earrings. I mean, I have a lot of maxed out pure or healing materia. Although I guess it would save me a materia slot. Did you no, I think I'm okay. You like, Kubo? Okay, so we found that. Okay, so we have like we have like all the world intel down in this area done, except for okay, I need to get to this. Fiend intel. And then we can also grab this lighting range number four. Okay, let's try let's try getting over here. Imagine designing this map though. Like you you would have to be you would have to be so detail oriented and make sure every single like ramp that you can fly off of makes sense with the map and like coordinates with each other. Like it, this is crazy. This is I have no idea how someone could like design this map and like keep track of everything. Okay, so I've been here. Yeah, I've been here, ancient paths. Okay, well, I'm on the opposite side of where I need to be. Okay, let's go. You know what? Let's go here. I might be... I might be... on the same level where I need to... I might already be on top of this cliff where I need to be if I go here. I found it. My sensors indicate the presence. 
Yep, I found it. Okay, oh, nice. Is everybody healed? No, everybody is not healed. Okay, so I might have to go back to Cosmo Canyon and rest after this. Oh, weak to win. Elder Golem. Autonomous dolls made of rare ore that abide in arid environments. Created by the Cetra long ago and imbued with impressive defensive capabilities, they can detonate the earth and rocks around them. They lose energy every time they attack or take damage and become pressured once their energy is exhausted. Now let's get that last photo spot. I think it's just up here. Combat simulator has been updated. Oh boy. Let's see if I can transmute anything. How many Final Fantasy games have you played, Rebecca? Uh, I think it'd be easier to list the ones I haven't played. So I have not played one, two, and three, and 11 and 14. And, um, well, that's of the main series. Like, I haven't played most of the, I haven't played most of the, like, spin-offs and sequels. I have played FF10 2, but I haven't played any of the other, like, sequels or spin-offs. I also, I have played, um, I played Final Fantasy Tactics on Game Boy. Um, so, oh, safety bit. Safety bit is a good, that's a good accessory. Draconic ring. A ring that aids the wearer in mounting a strong defense by channeling their strength into powerful counterattacks. Wait, isn't it right here? Where do I need to go? Do I need to go up there? I'm confused. Is 
Do I see it in here? What? Okay, I think I think it's above me. And I found some stairs. Okay, I need a chocobo. Oh my god. Out of our way. Weak to ice. to cast ice and fire yes okay after this we're going back to cosmic canyon to rest so take him down we got him now So I'm <laughs> not even doing it. I know it. you snuck a shot of me earlier. Oh. Nothing sneaky about it. Is yeah, I mean, so? we were in full view of her, <laughs> looking like she hey, could see us taking a picture. A selfie together, okay? Come here. Oh my God, they have the word selfie. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Aw, that's adorable. Obtain a photograph of Cloud and Aerith. Oh, the music. Aerith. Hmm? Uh, nothing. Come on, Let's Cloud. Take the photo and go. Sure. Dude. Why can't you just say what you want to say? This one. Okay, so more to the, this would be more to the left. Two hour mark, two hour mark. Oh my God, you know, it, it never feels like, it never feels, it never feels like I'm playing for that long. But the Tokobo and Cosmo Canyon are very helpful. Yeah, you, yeah, you could not do like half of the world Intel without the Tokobo. Maybe try another angle? Do I need to have that shooting star? No, I don't need it. This picture is fine. I don't know what she's talking about. Maybe try another angle? Guess we gotta get these back to Caesar, huh? Okay, but first, let's look at that picture. That we took of Aerith and Cloud. Longest stream ever. Probably like five hours. I mean, not much longer than I usually stream.
celestiograph, a device invented by Bugenhagen for the recording of celestial phenomena. Photograph of Earth praying. That is not the picture that I took, so I guess it doesn't really matter. A candid picture of Aerith. Photograph of Aerith smiling. A picture of Aerith grinning bashfully. That's also not the picture that I took, so... Photograph of Cloud and Aerith. A selfie taken while out searching for the shooting stars. Aw, that's cute. Okay, let's... I need to get this as a fast travel point, so let's jump off this ramp. Looks like an old Polaroid to me. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right, it does. I didn't notice that. But I... that is the kind of cameras that they're using. Yeah, they do... they do look like Polaroids. Polaroids are very popular. Like, the, the new Polaroid, because they started making new Polaroids. Like, new Polaroid cameras, and now they're very popular. Okay, let's see where this takes us, because I am not sure if I've been over here. Mm, what is that? Retro is making a comeback. Right, like, well, I've, I've talked about this. Okay, I haven't been over here. I've talked about this um, before in my streams, but I have noticed a lot of old stuff is coming back. Like, there's, there's a, a lot of, like, um, old shows or movies that are being remade or rebooted or there's a sequel. Like, did you know there's a new Roadhouse? There's a new Roadhouse movie and then all these, like, shows and old movies are, and old shows are being, like, either rebooted or remade or there's a sequel. There's a, there's a new Magnum P.I. There's a new MacGyver. There's a new Walker, Texas Ranger. There's a new Roswell. Like, po like Polaroids. Back, like... <laughs> or, uh, uh, this game, FF7 Remake. There's an FF7 Remake. I did not want to get on the chocobo. Backbone bracelet. Hmm. A bracelet which incorporates the vertebrae of a fearsome fiend to bolster one's defense. That looks pretty cool. Lowers defense. This is going to lower Cloud's defense by eight, but adds 23 to his magic defense. Uh... I think it doesn't take away too much from his defense. Oh, this would be good for Tifa, though. Barrett. Because it would only reduce his defense by one. Okay, I'm gonna give this to Tifa. Retro stuff is amazing. Yeah, I agree. Not a new roadhouse. <laughs> yeah, there is a new roadhouse. It's just lazy not to make an original story. I think people are just doing what is like selling right now and what people like want to see so i you know i guess people just want to see like this old older stuff being revived i mean pe like people are just gonna follow the market like people people are gonna produce what is what sells does she have poison 
no. Oh, Cloud has two HP ups. I don't know why he has two. We'll give one. We're gonna give one to Tifa because she could use it. Okay, I need to find another. Oh, there it is. The Celestica. I believe this turns and also turns into a fast travel point. Yes, it does. Okay, let's go back to Cosmo Canyon, which we're actually very close to it. No, we're not. This is the uh, Chocobo Ranch. Uh, you know what? Actually, we can go. We can go to the Chocobo Ranch and rest there because they have a bench. I forgot about that. We could also try to do the second training course, but I haven't been able to. I haven't been able to get a high enough score on that. I guess while we're here, we can try the new combat um, simulator battle. I still can't believe they pulled off bringing a, back an old classic show when I was a kid, X-Men 97. Oh, I heard about X-Men. I haven't watched it yet, though. Have you seen it, Bahamut? Is it good? Oh, increased speed by 30. That's a good one. Well, they're all good ones. They're all good skills. Anybody can do anything with five SP. Your efforts have yielded an astounding amount of data, Cloud. Perhaps you would like to use it to develop materia? I actually have gathered a ton of world intel, so. Poison and petrify. Yeah, it's awesome. Okay, cool. Because I have been wanting to watch it. I just haven't had a chance. Cosmo Canyon region level, region until level one. Assess on them, but I guess they're weak to lightning or fire. Oh, they're weak to fire. Troopers belonging to Shin with Public Security Division, typically seen patrolling city streets and company installations. Many are new recruits with little training. Exploiting their elemental weakness will pressure them. Okay, so Red has, yeah, Red has um, fire attached to his attack. And Yuffie has ice. So I find I find most of the enemies in this region are weak to fire or ice. What a five. No way. Don't worry about it. Ready for a smackdown? 
Watch an attack even when, while immobilized or reeling from damage. Yes, that's a good word to describe me. I'm thinking legendary. Okay, five rounds, but the first two went pretty quick. Oh, cat core. Float float? Yeah, I haven't seen these before, actually. This... Uh, what? Piscine creatures? What does that mean? That adapted to the mountainous surroundings, mutated after their ancestors were transported to the region while hiding among reactor construction materials. They prey on insects and similar, and similar creatures. Exploiting their elemental weakness will pressure them. They will counterattack if hit during massive inhale. Usually I can hit those cactors with triple slash. I don't know why they're called cactrops in this game though. Aren't they cactors? Weak to fire. Elite elite troopers belong to Shinra's public security, security division who are promoted due to higher than average abilities, usually deployed in locations deemed vital to the company. Uh, they're all weak to fire. First aid. It's on you. My turn. I just thought of something. Speaking of that X-Men show, it's another example of something that, like, an older show that's been brought back, or it's a, as far as I'm aware, it's a sequel to the X-Men show from the 90s. I mean, I haven't watched it yet. But I believe it's a sequel to the 90s X-Men show. I don't know, like, that. this is just what people want to watch right now, like, the, the older stuff. Okay, so I have... Oh, they're all weak to ice. So I have assessed all of them. Keep it together. Don't worry about it. Here goes! Ryan, stop me! It's over! Not really keen about how Marvel has been going, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, I think that, well, if we're talking about, like, the MCU movies, I think that it's hard, like, I mean, they were really good, but I think it's kind of hard to keep it going after, like, I mean, how many movies do they have now? I mean, it's, a, it's been a lot. It's kind of hard to still be good after so many movies.
A rare citropine fish variant in Leaderwood School. When threatened, it puffs itself up and signals an alarm which commands its fellow fish to attack. Kill the schoolmasters. Are these the only two left? Ah, okay, so these are the only two. Okay, nice. My class president from high school was a showrunner for X-Men 97, but he got fired for being mean. I think he's on steroids. Wow, really? Oh my god. Wow, that was a roller coaster. Did you know him in school, Francisco? Like, what was he like in school? One thing's for certain, or if I can see when I... Whenever I think about all the Marvel movies after Avengers Endgame is this, a lot of the characters have lost the plot. Yeah. Yeah, like, I... I mean... I guess I enjoy... I still enjoy watching the movies, but, like, some of the newer movies that have come out, like... I mean, I don't really... Thanks I don't like you. them as much My as... Are filling up with combat data. The original Marvel the way, movies. Have you made any progress lately in the hunt for that proto relic I mentioned before? If not, don't I'm working worry. on it. I'm sure you have more pressing matters. I mean, it's just, it. but it's so, it's anyway, hard to be good after like so many. It's hard to be good after so many movies because it's like um, it's like it's like a show, right? Like it's it's really hard for a show to be good after five se seasons. I would say like five. What I noticed is um, shows tend to not be good after like five seasons and e if it even makes it to five seasons like even that's really hard for a show the reason why a lot of characters have lost the plot after avengers endgame is simple introduce Thanos, a mad titan have him undergo a quest to get all the stones have him succeed in a side quest have him do his death snap which wipes half of all the universe heroes become become brought down to the brinks that heroes rise up then they undergo a quest to get the infinity stones have them all engage in thanos in a battle of blood gg thank you for the gg yes he was extremely in the closet and nerdy but he truly loved x -Men. ah okay well i wonder uh, wonder what caused him to act that way at work then have one of the heroes make the big time sacrifice to take out Thanos and his army and well that's it Thanos has been dealt with and there's little else to talk about afterwards right yeah kind of feels like the main like arc has been over I think the MCU actually had decades more of great material to work with but they chose up, to girl. hire non-fans yeah I mean but it's also I just think that like like the general population, like your like the audience, they're gonna get tired of seeing the same thing over and over. Like sh shows have to end sometime. The out out of all the shows, 
I have seen in my life. I can only think of one that was like really good, like consistently, like the whole way through that lasted a lot of seasons. And that was Supernatural. That was 15 seasons. Like, first of all, like, you know how hard it is to even get to 15 seasons for a show? Because most shows don't even last for five seasons. Like, if they, they're lucky if they get to like five seasons and you're still good. Supernatural is 15. 15 seasons. Oh my god. How, like, I don't understand. I don't understand this. I don't understand this course. Okay, we're gonna have to start that over. See Daisy. If you get to five seasons, doesn't that mean it has to be good or it would have been canceled? Um. Yes and no. I mean, good is good is different to everybody, right? But like, for for example, like How I Met Your Mother, I love that show. But I think after season, like season five, I think they they really lost their way. And I feel like that was like a general consensus with the audience, but they got renewed for it. It went for, I think, nine seasons. It was eight or nine seasons. But I mean, they got renewed for another like four seasons, three or four seasons. I mean, I don't know what the decisions exactly are that go in behind like renewing a show. Also, like, like most people agree that the ending of How I Met Your Mother was really bad, but they still like went with that ending. I mean, like they they were allowed to get to that. They were allowed to like use that ending, you know. Okay, well, I found I at least got the minimum score. <laughs> That's why I think he's on steroids. He changed into a jerk for un some unknown reason. Oh, man. That's unfortunate. Because who are they gonna... Who else are they gonna bring up after Thanos, the Mad Titan onslaught from the X-Men? I mean, I guess they... For, like, if we're taking material from the comics, I'm sure they have plenty of material to work with. The only big time problem I have with bringing Onslaught in the MCU is this. The X-Men don't even exist in the MCU. But I think, well, I think they can now, right? Because Disney bought Fox. Wait, who owns the, who owns the rights to? Because there's some weird thing with like the rights of like movies is different because because Disney didn't have the rights to Spider-Man to put in a movie for a long time because I think I think Sony had the rights to Spider-Man. But I think they can put X-Men in MCU now. He used to work out in high school, he had zero gains. The Marvel comics had decades of comics that worked and when one group of heroes lost popularity, a new one became popular. We have over a century of survival of the fittest. Yeah, like there's, there's lots of material. Have you met Ted? Yes. Yes. I mean, I, I love that show, but like, I really didn't like the ending and I thought it got bad after season five. The only way they can make good Marvel movies again is that they re really should wait a couple more years until they are in the safe once again. Yeah, I mean, I don't even know. Like, I don't even know what the latest Marvel movies are. Like, I haven't really been watching them. The decisions are trust me by views. If no one is watching, they won't continue. It may have been comparatively bad to what it was it was, but in its own right, it was probably still above par. I mean, like for for me, like I don't know what everyone else is saying, but like for me, like most shows are not good after season like five seasons. Disney owns a lot. They do. 
If I remember correctly, 20th Century Fox had the filming rights to X-Men until Disney bought out said duty. Yeah, so I think they can put X-Men in the MCU now. Galactus is coming to the MCU. Oh, really? When is that supposed to happen? I mean, I think, like, yeah, I think a lot of people, like, I mean, are still watching great, a show after better. five seasons, but, like, for do. me, it's like you most shows are not good after that. To do what you want. You should have established a bond with Apony before heading out. You've got to be on the same page when you're running a course. Be completely in sync. But I have seen shows where, like, a, like there's a general consensus among the audience, and, and like, they just decide to do something the opposite of that. I can't believe you people. I'm going home. Ah, oh, crap. That certainly backfired. Yeah, yeah. No need to rub it in. Come on, let's catch up with her. Head to training course number three. Oh boy. Where's training course number three? That's right here. So, oh, what? Okay, there's still two more things in this. Why do I still have two more things? Are there two more training courses? Because that last one was already like a lot and annoying. Okay, I guess it's over here. As for Spider Man, Sony owns a filming right to, unless for some reason copyright extensions that were put in place and Mickey Mouse get suddenly abolished. Sudden abolished. Well, see, yes, so Sony had the rights to Spider Man putting spider-man in the in movies but they worked out some deal with disney and that's why spider-man is in the mcu now apony what are you doing why are you still following me you know i can't ride you anymore no apony i'm sorry but i can't i just can't says who you just watch. I'm gonna prove to you that there's no other bird that can fly like Apony. I will. Doctor Who has had a few seasons. <laughs> yes, it has. I've actually, I've never watched Doctor Who, but I know it has a ton of seasons. But th they have something where it's like they, they like do something new, right? Like they don't just, they, it's not like the same continuous storyline or something. The reason why I say that is one, they say that one is the Spider-Man's due date to enter the public domain, believe it or not, was originally January 1st of 2019. Really? Imagine you had the rights for Breaking Bad, Sopranos, Buffy the Vampire, X-Files, Scooby-Doo. Instead of think of the empty as a show, it's more like a list of different bangers, but they decided to move too far from the source material. Right. This is great! Yeah, I guess they're, I mean, I guess they just are like, okay, like, what, what can we, like, sell to people? Like, what are people gonna go watch? I have to get 4,800 at a minimum. So there's no I don't why isn't there like a like a thing like a generator thing where I can fly back up after because there I mean there's no way there's no way I can get back up after that right I don't I don't get these I like I really don't understand these courses and how how do I get that one because it like I'm nowhere I'm nowhere high enough to get that one get either of those 500 Okay, I don't get- I really don't understand these courses.
So I guess if you want to just get the minimum score, you could do that. Yeah, that should do it. What do you think of Friends seasons? Oh, I love Friends. You see me? I aced it. And it's all thanks to this chocobo, Apony, the best of the best. Don't you? How many? Okay. How many? How many seasons did Friends have? Let me check. It had 10 seasons? Wow, that's more than I thought it was. Okay, I love Friends. Although, I I mean, I don't remember if I ever, like, thought it was bad. I don't think so. They had switched the doctor, like, 12 times over 75 years. But the copyright extension, that's where... Put into place on Mickey Mouse, do you get some abolished for any reason? We'll bear witness of the great search to the public domain. Yeah, like, well, Winnie the Pooh was released to public domain. Did you hear about that, like, Winnie the Pooh horror movie somebody's doing? Friends was great. Joey is worth a watch as well in episodes. Yeah, I, I love Joey, which will be once in a lifetime event. Many other characters will also end up in the public domain if this happens. Nice run. GG, thank you. Thank you, GC, thank you. Ancient one. Ten? Yes. <laughs> Ten seasons. <laughs> Hi, Rebecca. Easy Carnage. Hello. How are you? Thank you so much for coming in. I've never seen Friends or watched these sitcoms at all, but I know they are popular. Yeah, I I love Friends. I love sitcoms. But I think in general it's very hard to be for a show to be um good after five seasons. I think it I think it's a little bit easier for sitcoms though. The Blade films were from Marvel. They were super successful, but they weren't in the MCU. But if they adapted Blade now, they would turn it into something not so good. Not so good. Oh, Blade was Marvel? I didn't know that. Poor Pooh Bear. Yep, I heard about that one. If I remember correctly, Winnie the Pooh has a unique case in the public domain. Oh, really? I think I know What's unique that? about it? There's something on your mind. Just say it. The day I fell, I just... I got overconfident. Figured I had the race in the bag. I started thinking about all the ways I was gonna spend the prize money. I wasn't focused. But when I was rounding the final corner, Apony and I, we got out of sync. Before I knew it, I was in the dirt. Apony jumped in front to try and protect me. And because of that, she got herself hurt. Aw. So I... I just can't get back in the saddle. I mean, she seems fine. What if I hurt her again? I'd never forgive myself. You're up, Mr. Merc. Put those chocobo interpreting skills to work. Huh? It was a terrible accident, but we've learned from He has chocobo interpreting skills? Can grow. As Chocobo and Ryder, and strive to not repeat past mistakes. Once we've healed Shani, what? let's race together again. You got that? He speaks Chocobo? I'm so confused. <laughs> I want a Chocobo. Rest up. Do whatever it takes to get back in racing shape. Until then, mind looking after her for me? Uh, you serious? Well, yeah. She still needs exercise, and I won't be able to take her out for a while. I feel better knowing she's in the hands of a rider I can trust. I'm sorry for making you worry, Mom. I promise I won't give up. Aw. Not again. <sighs> That's all I wanted to hear. Be warned, when I'm healed up, you're going down. Why did Red get something out of that? Bring it on! Should've been Yuffie. Oh, that's completed. Okay. Uh, I thought I had two more things to do for that side quest, but I don't. Okay, nice. I'll have 
to find the link. Okay. Cloud can do it all of you, apparently. I'm sending you the link to the article in question. You should check it out once he sees the chance. Okay. Sounds good. The popularity of X-Men 97 shows the MCU did have more popularity to unlock. Even the earlier X-Men movies barely scratched the surface of what Marvel had to offer, but it was mishandled. GG. Thank you, Ancient One. Yeah, I mean, I love X-Men. If the MCU could explore X-Men, that would be awesome. Absence of a sign. Oh, so I do have to, I forgot. I forgot I have to turn, turn in this quest. So I do have to go back to Cosmo Canyon. Or to Caesar. Uh, I think he's in the observatory. No, that's where Guggenhagen is. Uh, he's in the assembly. Welcome I to think. Cosmo Canyon. Thanks. Where is my fast travel guy? There he is. Blessings of the planet be upon you. This is Cosmo. Are you in need of guidance? Planetology assembly. That's where Caesar is. Okay, let's see if my pictures were any good. Ah, the falling stars have indeed revealed themselves to us. Hmm, interesting. And you say you took these at the locations depicted in our references? Yes. Well, regardless, your photographs stand as irrefutable proof. What? I don't understand. How the, were those pictures hmm. not good? As always, our planet is as strong as she is beautiful. No matter the calamity, we have no reason whatsoever to fear for her demise. Interesting. It appears that there are more comets than were previously observed. Perhaps this is a sign that our planet has, in fact, grown more robust. Yes, surely. Wait, okay, obviously I took the pictures at the right place. Take note of their positioning and connect each with lines. Just so. I see it. The pattern. An unprecedented configuration. Hey, what did you wish for? Hmm? Well, only what anyone else would. I just ask the stars to protect us from harm. Right. Of course. Of course. That face you made earlier, what was that about? Don't know what you mean. Guess the shooting stars have said their piece. Yeah, I don't get why my pictures weren't good, but whatever. Tarot cards. What are those for? What? Next thing you know, we find out Deadpool destroys the whole MCU. He snags the Infinity Gauntlet and goes all out crazy. I'm joking. I wouldn't be surprised. Honestly, GG, thank you. But I am going to look up. I'm going to look up. The, I'm going to look this up because I don't understand. First of all, I don't understand what. I don't understand what that item I got was for. And also, I don't understand why my pictures weren't good. I guess I guess it it tells you if you're at 80% or not. I didn't know that. OK, 
okay. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter. I'm talking too much, my bad. Uh, no, you're not. If anything, I need... I need chat to be active. See if we can get to this. So I think I can get there from here. But if Deadpool did destroy the MCU, I can see it unfold like this. Thanos to Tony Stark, I'm inevitable. Does the snap only to realize it didn't work? Tony Stark, I'm Iron Man. Does the snap only to realize it doesn't work either? Both Thanos and Tony Stark look at each other's hands for a moment and look at each other's eyes in complete disbelief only to realize a red figure snag the infinity gauntlet. I mean, I could see it. I could see that being a movie. That's not the right way. This way. Okay, so I found this nice spring already. Oh, there's no way through here. Hmm. Be way over there. Okay, well, I, there's no way through here because I can't even get into the water there. Deadpool with the Infinity Gauntlet, and I am Deadpool, yeah, I stole the Infinity Gauntlet and you are all at my mercy. <laughs> that is something he would do. Let's try here. Okay, so there's definitely no way from that life spring. So I need to get, I think get on top of that cliff somehow. Okay. 
Okay, that's training course number two. That doesn't help me here. how to get over there. All right, let's let's try to do something else. Maybe we'll try getting this. Deadpool then uses the power of the Infinity Gauntlet to make himself all powerful and summons both the X-Men and Mutant Brotherhood as they arrive to his aid so they can go all out crazy. Ah! I don't know if uh I don't know if the X-Men would agree with him. Maybe some of them would. But I think most of the X-Men think Deadpool's kind of crazy. Which he is. I mean he's funny though. How you been? I have been good, Easy Carnage. How are you? Let's try going this way. Oh! Did I find it? I guess so. Okay, guys. Gloves up. Pyro wire. I'm guessing they're weak to ice. They are. A rare Kappa wire variant that mutated after surviving a forest fire. When it senses danger, it ignites its vibes to protect itself. It will start counterattacking after using Spark. Exploiting its elemental weakness will both pressure it and cancel Spark. made it to that fiend intel. They're making a new Ghost Rider movie, I heard. Oh, really? I hadn't heard about that one. I knew you'd come through, Cloud. After processing the intel you gathered and importing it into our simulator, I designed a combat trial just for you. While it is true that you provided assistance, my, I am the one who created it <laughs> at any rate. Give it a try. That seems to get really annoyed with my, but I mean, he's the one that programmed her. Okay, found that intel. Now we have to, we gotta try to get to this one. But first, might as well go rest. 16 likes by far, only four more likes to go for the 20 like height. Everyone, thank you so much, everyone, for the 20 or not the 20 likes. We're not there yet. 16 likes. Okay, I guess I might as well try Tadley's new battle. GG, thank you, Ancient One. Keanu Reeves is playing the new Ghost Rider. Oh, okay. Well, I love Keanu Reeves. I have news regarding the combat simulator. Thanks to the monster data yeah, you already told me. To collect, I was able to devise a new challenge for you. I kindly invite you to give it a try. 
Okay, I'm gonna do this new combat challenge and then I'm gonna go take a break. Nature's Vengeance. So 17 for me. Oh, nice. Botanical creatures that live near coasts. Their roots have developed in a way that allows them to scurry about unfettered. They have no vision or hearing, sensing enemies through vibrations instead. Exploring their elemental weakness will pressure them. Now with extra beguiling ninjas! Of this. Three. Let's finish this. No, not that one. Keanu movie. Oh. Uh, John Wick, probably. But I love speed also. And oh, 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 you know what? You know what? I think, actually, I think I might have to change my mind. I think I'm, it's probably Bill and Ted. Matrix, that's a good one too. That's a really good movie. But I wouldn't say it's my favorite Keanu movie. Good to go? Well, he went weak to wind. Okay, he is, but it wasn't showing us weak to win. It showing, wasn't showing us weak when Yuki was, uh, had her ninja to him. That's 
Really? Right as I had him do prime mode. Fast for you. Not that one, this one. Yeah, Matrix series was Let's good too. Go. I think I really only like the first one. Ah! I think the ones after were not as good. All right, I'm gonna go take a break. Incredible. And when I come back, we will be doing more World Intel. So I will be right back.
Keanu is a great guy. Very tragic past. Right. Lost the love of his life in Unborn Baby. Yes. Oh, my God. Like, he is such a good guy. I, he, okay. Okay, you guys, if you don't know, look up Keanu Reeves and, like, just look at his Wikipedia and look at, like, his his early life i guess yeah early life early life and personal life like he has had he like has gone through so much stuff i and apparently i've never met him but apparently he's like the nicest guy ever it's like how does he or maybe that's why he's like the nicest guy ever but like how does he you know like how does he like go through all that stuff and you still end up a good person but he like so his dad like abandoned his family I mean, he met him later. I'm not exactly sure. Let me let, let me look. I'm not exactly sure if he like still had a relationship with, with his dad, but his dad like his dad abandoned his family when he was really young, and then he like met him later. Welcome back, Ron Beckham. See, thank you, ancient one. So his dad abandoned their family when he was three. Okay, he last met his father when he was thirteen, so he hasn't seen his father since then. Okay, and then he, okay, personal life. So he, he had this girlfriend. So he had this girlfriend and she got pregnant, but their baby was stillborn. And then the girlfriend died after that. Like, can you imagine? Wait, he has. Why does his Wikipedia say he has a kid? Children one. Are they counting the baby that was stillborn? Oh, he has a. He has a. He's the godfather to a friend's kid. But yeah, anyway, look look up Keanu Reeves because he's been through some stuff. But he's apparently like just the nicest guy. Thank you for your contribution. I know, I know, Francisco. I can't help but wonder where we'll meet next. So many fascinating. Okay, well, oh, oh okay, hold on. Do I have, I still have the Wikipedia article up? Okay, so. So. Nine, in 1999, his girlfriend at the time, she she had the stillborn baby. And then only two years later, she was killed in a car accident. And he's also he's also just like been through a lot of stuff with his family. But yeah, I mean, apparently he's a really nice guy, which is uh, nice to hear after all the stuff he's been through. Okay, so let's get back to trying to get to this fiend intel. Okay, let's try going here. I think I was trying to get this to this before. Hmm... Okay, what's over here? Oh, I can't jump off of that. That's well, just a landing. Um, oh, but I can jump off of this. Oh, so I haven't done this. I haven't done this one. Right, I'm pretty sure this is how I get to the, in the fiend intel. 
They say he paid the crew for the Matrix film out of his own pocket and asked them to keep it a secret. What? Oh my god, I, ha I hadn't heard that. Of course, of course he did that. Yeah, he just seems like an awesome guy. Yep, there it is. Dangerous fiends may be in the vicinity. Exercise caution. Rare Griffin variant detected. Commencing guidance protocol. Griffins are ready. Okay, and I am fully healed. That sword through the skies. Good time to go into a fight. Coming through. Sure, though. The studio didn't want to pay them, but he kept their families afloat. Oh my god, that is so nice. I love that. That is so nice of him. A rare griffin variant that mutated as the result of direct exposure to the life stream shortly after birth. It creates clouds of dust when it soars skyward, then dives back down to strike prey with its sharp claws. They will eventually cast off their protective wind shrouds to send them hurling around the battlefield. At this point, they will become pressured. Okay, so, so that's the same thing. That's the same way the, the normal griffins get pressured so this is just like a heart so most of these fiends are just like harder versions of regular enemies oh oh it's weak to lightning this is really good for red because he's got awesome discharge do you have no you don't have Thunder. Does anybody have thunder? So it, as long as Red keeps attacking, he can pressure him. Or her. I don't know. I don't know if it's male or female. Okay, nobody has nobody has thunder. He's got a lot of HP. to do all the objectives. Magnificent work, Cloud. Have this region's fiends proved a fitting challenge? One glance at the data will tell you they are clearly no match for him. I don't recall last 
asking you. Oh man. She felt happy. Conversation with Cloud. So please quit. Cloud. <laughs> if you're in need of a challenge, know that another combat trial awaits you. I mean, I don't understand why Ch Chadley, like, he programmed her. So if you find her annoying, just program her to be different. Let's try to find this tower. Uh... Okay, well first let's, we're gonna head back to the ranch. We'll rest and try Chadley's new combat simulator battle and then we will try to find that tower. I still don't understand where the last life spring is that Bugenhagen wants me to. Bugenhagen? Bugenhagen? I forgot. I don't know where the last one he is that he wants me to find. I thought I found it but I guess it wasn't it because the gate was locked and he didn't show up. She's exceeded her program, right? Like, she's put, she's becoming self-aware. She's becoming sentient. Although, I don't think... I mean, I don't think you, like... AI can do that. Perhaps the chocobo. I mean, they're just programs. The ability to glide through the air as a means of crossing the canyon. They can only do what they're programmed to do. They, like AI and like computers, they can't do anything outside of their programming. Oh, so we're also missing a shrine. That's the smell. Take down the enemy without recovering HP. Oh. Hmm, okay, we could try it, but I, I still haven't been able to beat this one. We'll give it a try. If I can't beat it, we'll just come back. Oh, Marlboro, okay. Hmm. I should have, you know what I should have done? I mean, well, I guess I didn't know it was going to be a Marlboro, but I also probably should have guessed. Uh... It's not assessed. I got you. Know. Weak to ice. These grotesque fiends live in Gungaga's jungles and boast countless tentacles springing from their heads. From their giant maws, they spew corrosive liquid and the most acrid of breath. Exposure to Mako has made them bigger, uglier, and stinkier. Shattering their mouth will make them susceptible to staggering and prevent them from using bad breath. If left unchecked, bad breath will steadily increase in potency. Its mouth will regenerate after a certain amount of time. But programs can be hacked because no one fully gra grasps the mathematics of a program, like the halting program. Yes. Programs can definitely be hacked, but they, like, they can't do it, like, on their own. Like, some somebody has to... Like, a human has to... This is why I don't think, like, AI can, like, take over, because... They can't do anything outside of their programming. Like, they can't, they can't just, like, take over on their own.
but I agree with you, but I'm weird. I think consciousness is fundamental. It comes before matter in my view. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I just think that, like, the way that computers work, like, they just don't, they don't work that way, like. They can't just, like, become self-aware. Like, they, they can't do anything outside of their programming. Okay. Okay, so, this is what we have to do here. We have to equip some accessories that prevent status effects. Endless replayability is the simulator's greatest strength. I look forward to... And also, pro like, computers, they can't determine what is right and wrong. They, they can be told, but they, uh, they'll never be able to judge it for themselves. Like, they can only follow, like, a set amount of... They can only follow, a, like, a set amount of, um, of, like, commands. Do I I don't know. Do people still level up their materia if they're not in the party? I have no idea. I mean I just give I just give people materia just in case to level up. I'll just give them some materia to level up. Oh, he still has this on from some other some other battle I was doing. Oh, it, when he was in the Gi Cave. Uh, I guess we'll give her immunity to Toad. Seeing what new discoveries you make in your travels. Seeing you again has elicited quite the emotional response in me. I must be excited to see your progress. Aww. I think feelings are a form of faster than light signals. Information can't travel faster than light, but subtext can. Hmm. Interesting. Engagement can send something more fundamental than information faster than light. Okay, we're gonna try this again. But I might have to come back to it. I mean, entanglement. Entanglement can send something more fundamental than information. What do you mean by more... more fundamental than information, though? Really? Don't worry. 
Oh my god. You're in good hands now! Stop now! Uh, no! Young Pecker type. God, did you see how close I was to beating him? If two atoms are entangled, they can receive signals faster than light, but not anything humans would find useful in terms of information. Atoms or particles. Oh, okay. Well, I guess what I should have done is... Okay. But too late to worry about that now. Don't worry too much, Rebecca. So you got this. Appreciate that, Ancient One. You were close, I know, right? God, that was so close. 
I think feelings can move faster than light. FTL implies time travel. Oh, so, so feelings are time traveling? GG, thank you, Bahamut. I think consciousness comes before matter. Rinse and be breath. GG, thank you, Francisco. Are my trials not challenging enough? Mm, I wouldn't say that. I wish you all the best in your ongoing... All right, so what I want to do is get to this tower and then I might be able to figure out how to get to this from there. Mm. Okay, we're gonna go here. Because even though Co Cosmo Canyon is, it's closer. But I don't think it's as straightforward. Because I have to like jump down off the cliff. Because like Cosmo Canyon is all the way up there. I think I have to be down here. GG, thank you, Ancient One. The tower's really right here. Okay, yeah, that was easy. So I found the tower, but how do I get on it? Okay, I guess it's not so easy, is it? Nope, still pretty easy. We can feel events before they happen. Animals too. Okay. Yeah, that actually makes sense. Because, like, you... There are times where you, like, have a feeling something is going to happen. I mean, I guess that's the same thing as, as like, what people call, like, a hunch. All the trials are a massive pain. <laughs> yeah. I agree. But you do get some good rewards. Hey, Rebecca, I got a little bit of an idea for a, for a video for your channel. Finding the cheapest, most expensive streaming gear you can buy, ordering and testing them out, and doing a review. Oh, that would be interesting. Thank you for that idea, Ben. I will write that down. Because, you know, I already, like, okay, so if you guys have been watching for a while, if you remember, I used to use, I used to use these headphones, like, you know, like the, the giant, like, gaming headphones. These were, those were really expensive. Now I just use, I just use, like, these, I just use these, like, random earbuds. I don't even know, Joy Miso is the brand, like, they're just, like, a no-name brand from Amazon. And th this is Logitech. Th this is Logitech. And these, like, don't work. So now I have, like, some, like, no-name headphones that I use that work better than the Logitech fancy, like, gaming headset. So, so this, 
This is the wireless headset and it like, it doesn't charge and I can't hear anything. And they were way more expensive. Oh, I got a chocobo stop. Okay, wait, where did you go? What? Where did that chocobo trick just go? It just disappeared. Did, did that chocobo trick, like, not just disappear? Oh, there it is. Happy Easter! Happy Easter! Happy Easter, everyone! And happy Ramadan! Happy Easter and Ramadan! Happy Easter, Rebecca and everybody! Thank you, Bahamut! Happy Easter to you as well! Does anyone have any Easter plans? I thought about, like, going out to brunch or something. And taking jacks. But I don't know. It's gonna be... I feel like it's gonna be really crowded everywhere. I guess that wouldn't be a bad thing, because Jax loves people. He loves being pet. Okay, let's see what's over here. Oh, we found another fiend intel already. Be on your guard, everyone. I'm picking up a monstrous signal. Rare Basilisk variant detected. Commencing guidance protocol. Basilisks can change the color of their skin to blend into the environment and hunt prey undetected. Shinra is studying this fiend in the hopes of replicating its camouflage capabilities. This is really how like how close do I have to get to those two guys? It manipulates the properties of the skin. Basilisk. They're called basilisks. A rare basilisk, basilisk variant that was recently rediscovered after it was thought to have gone extinct. Uniquely capable of changing its elemental properties. Extremely cautious, it vanishes at the first sight of danger. It alters its elemental affinity when it goes into hiding. Exploiting its elemental weakness will pressure it, making it unable to hide. Okay, weak to ice. Happy Easter to you, Rebecca and everyone. Happy Easter, Ben. Family, niece is doing egg hunt. Oh, nice. I think I'm going to eat out and get a plate and bring it back to my apartment to eat. Nice. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. I'll have to, I'll have to see how I feel tomorrow and what traffic is going to be like and everything. Because, like, I thought about, like I said, I thought about, like, going to, like, um, like, a, out to eat for, like, a brunch or something. I think everywhere is going to be really busy. And if you don't have a reservation somewhere, then we'll probably, like, for, like, we'll probably be waiting, like, forever. To her. Just create a new combat trial. I hope you'll find it useful. Don't ignore me. I mean, I like she's she's always talking when I go into battle, so I can't really like pay attention. You know, like I'm busy. 
All right, I think that's the only thing over here. Um, these, these fiend intel you tend to be only in like a small area where you can't really go anywhere else. I guess we might as well rest. Oh, you know what? We also need to, I need to remove these uh, accessories because I only have them on for the Marlboro. Let's see, uh, Cloud had the whistle wind scarf. Red. I don't really have a... I don't really have... Oh, tarot cards is an accessory. A deck of that consists solely of tarot cards found to be lucky. Extends the duration of detrimental status effects applied to foes. Oh, very interesting. I think I'll give him the Marlboro Orb. And Yuffie... I guess she can have the Koopa charm. I don't know. I don't really... Yeah, I don't really know what to give you, Fee. My niece and nephew are going to find eggs with my dog. Nice! Is, this, is it like an event that you're going to, or is it like something you're doing? So Jax went on an egg hunt yesterday. But honestly, it wasn't that interesting. So there is this um, area nearby that's like full of shops and restaurants. And it's got this like big lawn area, big outdoor area with um, like a lawn and a stage. And they hold a lot of live music and concerts and like events there. And they had their like egg hunt event yesterday. And so all the kids went in the morning and then um, the dogs went went in like the afternoon but there weren't that many dogs like so they had like small dogs go first and then they had the big dogs and then and but there weren't really a lot of big dogs that were signed up first of all so there were only like i don't know five dog five like five big dogs signed up and the whole thing lasted like less than five minutes i mean i guess it was fun for jacks but I mean, all they did was like put some eggs on the ground and but the dogs were more like interested in like just sniffing each other than the eggs. Like they, they just put some dog treats in plastic eggs and put them on the ground. But the dogs were like more interested in each other. <laughs> No more playing nice. Since when does Cloud ever play nice? Let's do this. But yeah, the, so they, they just like sniffed some eggs and then I just like took some pictures and videos of Jax and then it was like over in less than five minutes. I mean, I, like Jax is happy anytime he gets to like go somewhere and do something. So I guess, you know, it was worth it for him. What is that? What is that? What are those X things on the ground? Great picks. Thank you, the right stuff. Appreciate that.
this is the way to the shrine. Almost all particles exist in a state of superposition. Those superpositions contain every structure you can imagine. Some of those configurations are conscious in my view. Hmm. Dogs be sniffing, right? So for AI to be sentient, it has to tap into something that was always there. Okay. Uh, okay, 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 yeah. I agree with you. Like, um, but that's, I mean, that's kind of what I was saying too. Like, they, they just don't have the capability. Like, they can only do what they're programmed to do. They can't do anything outside of their programming. Hi, Rebecca and Chad. How is the streaming going? Hey, seeing. Streaming's going good. How are you? We are getting a lot of world intel and side quests done. Oh, 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 oh. We got some new, whatever these are called, wide ramps. Let's go this way first. We can always, uh, we can always fast travel here and get the other one. Really? I need you to walk in a straight line. Popping in to say hello. Mad Industries, hello. Thank you so much for coming in. How are you? something oh this is okay yeah this is what i was trying to get to go me chat oh it's so cute you know what i found out recently people hate chadley apparently i like chadley a lot i mean yeah i think the way he speaks is it can be a little strange but i, I mean he first of all he's very helpful and i think he generally means well he, i think he just doesn't realize he comes across i mean isn't he like a isn't he like a like a cyborg or an android or something like i think he just doesn't realize how he comes across but he has good intentions a small event and going to put on an easter egg outside of my house nice gonna do anything tomorrow like well like i said i might find some place i might try to find some place to for brunch and take jacks out but everywhere's gonna be really busy so i don't know we'll we'll see how things are tomorrow you can now program your robot with gambits and actions gambits determine a target actions determine what the robot will do to that target to enhance your chances of victory reference the information on enemy units before programming your robots which can be done with x you can also auto program your robots if a stage is giving you trouble as Chadley proceeds with his research, more gamas and actions will become available. Attack those portal skills, press L2 or R2. Uh, I guess this is fine. Each robot has several AI slots in which gambits and action can be programmed. Once a robot is deployed, it will act according to its AI, the order in which you program the gambit action, and the current situation. 
Gambits to determine the car target as well as conditions under the which actions trigger, such as an enemy's elemental affinity or a robot's remaining HP. Actions allow the robot to perform many functions, such as increasing its HP, healing allies, enhancing their attributes, or exploiting an, an enemy's elemental weakness. Okay, so if you have ever played Final Fantasy XII, or if you do this mini game, this is like kind of like coding or programming. Because so, so, oh, I just like, <laughs> I just get that tutorial. Three types of robots. Oh, I already saw that. Okay, so, so what this is telling you is that, if, and if you ever played FF12, this is the same thing. So these will, you can program their actions and they will do this like in order. So first, first they see, first they, they run through, it's kind of like a workflow. So first they run through like their programmed actions. Okay, so is it weak to ice? Okay, then do blizzard shot. If the foe is lariat, then what is it doing? I don't know what this is doing. Okay, but let's let look at this. Okay, so for for instance, if if this robot is if this their HP drops below 50%, then what do they do? Plan ahead when choosing actions. Those that exploit elemental weaknesses are a good start, but it, it is also worth considering ways to preemptively attack, land the finishing blow, and effectively use healing and support actions. In some cases, certain actions will be incompatible with the target specified by the gambit. If you cannot find the action you wish to set, try the, changing the gambit. Once you have decided on an action to use, press X to select it. Note if you wish to prioritize an action, such as healing, place it in the top AI slot. Okay, so for example, if I wanted this robot to, to say, okay, when my HP falls below 50%, I will use Cure. But it will do it in this order. So first, okay, Lariat. Oh, okay, so this is a move. Okay, so any foe, any foe, it will do Lariat which is a spinning arm attack that deals physical damage to nearby targets. If I have a foe that is weak to the to an element, it will cast blizzard. So if it sees that if it sees that the, the foe is weak to ice, it will cast blizzard shot. And then and then you could do okay, if a, if another robot falls below 50% HP, then we can say, okay, we, we cast regen. That's kind of like programming. He's a nerd. The nerd who would be Chad, right? I had a nerd Facebook friend nicknamed Chad African. He runs a philosophy channel from India, but I'm not sure he remembers me. We're just Facebook friends. He moved to India to escape student debt. Oh, really? Oh, man. That's, that's unfortunate that he had to try and escape escape student debt. I understand though, because... Oh, I guess you can only use one... You can only... All the robots share actions. Um, I understand because I am... I am also in student debt. Okay, I mean, let's just... Uh, or wait, how do you auto program them? Okay, let's just start with this. Because I still don't, I mean, I, I am also like, I don't understand exactly how this is working. Red marshmallow. So is it weak to ice? I don't get it. got married on the back of an elephant and has never been happier. Oh, nice. That sounds awesome, actually. Chad Hogg is his real name. Oh, okay.
So I think this is weak to... Is this weak to fire? I don't get it. I'm not sure I understand. Okay. I mean, I don't understand how, how do I auto, how do I auto program? Oh, auto program. Selecting this option will automatically outfit your robots with one of four AI sets optimized for the stage. Feel free to keep auto programming until your robots are assigned the set you desire. Notice that using this feature will overwrite your current AI set unless you save it with triangle first. Okay, let's yeah, let's just do the auto programming because I still am I still am not totally sure I understand the game. I think I'm getting it. So I have to defend all the portals on all sides and whatever whatever their icon they have on their health bar, that's what they're weak to. So I need to deploy the robot that can do that elemental attack that they're weak to. But I have to make sure that it's going to... So the enemy king is or leader is going to... We all send out enemies at, at all portals, so I have to make sure all of them are covered. That night at the bar, remember? Yeah. It's like a tower defense you guys game. Are trying some new cocktails for me. Mmm. Yep. This is the one. Bartender, whip me up another Costa del Sol. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I'm cutting you off. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, one more couldn't hurt. Now me, 
I'm a Cosmo Canyon guy. Mmm, that one was pretty good, but it was missing that special flourish. Guess what I got? Huh? Ta-da! Cosmo Salt! Can't call it a Cosmo Canyon without a touch of local flavor, right? Trust me, a dash of this will make all the difference. What's Cosmo about it? It's mined from the canyon itself, the birthplace of planetology, and pretty hard to come by, I'll have you know. Oh my god. That cell's gotta be laced with something. Wow! <laughs> oh, so that was the secret of the Cosmo Canyon drink. You're right! Wow! It's like a whole new drink. Man, it's too bad the stuff is so hard to come by. If only I had more. I thought you might say that. But out the whole store so you can keep on mixing. But those will only last us so long. Especially if this Cosmo Canyon becomes a hit. Gonna need to stock up. In that case, what about a trip to the source, huh? We could all bring back as much salt as we could carry. What do you say? Count me in. Home of planetology, here we come. It's gonna be great. Oh, really? Huh? Y'all think we got money to be taking field trips? Because our books say otherwise. Here. Shit, we gotta go. <laughs> there you have it. The so I think you were in Gungaga, where you like met this bartender, and he said that he's been trying to make this Honestly, drink. Y'all are just too much. <laughs> the Cosmo Canyon that he heard about from a, a bar in seven in uh, Midgar, which is that that was the drink, and he said he could never make it as good, and he didn't know why, and it was the salt. See, I had no idea I would get these, like, scenes doing is these side ready? quests. This is why you should do these, because you never know what you're gonna see. Coming. So, one, two, three, four, five. I have five world intel things left. Oh, that is so close to somewhere I already have big on tough love, for a fast travel huh? point. Maybe I ought to try to return the favor. <laughs> there is apparently a thriving salt industry here. Back before everything went to hell with the fall of the Republic. Wait, salt comes from the sea, right? Does that mean this whole place used to be underwater? Wow. The planet's just full of surprises. There is apparently a thriving salt industry here. Back before everything went to hell with the fall of the Republic. Wait, salt comes from the sea, right? Does that mean this whole place used to be underwater? Wow. The planet's just full of surprises. Oh, you know what? Okay, I had to listen to that again because I wasn't sure I was understanding what he was saying. But you know what? That would make sense if it was... If if this area had water in it before, that would make sense. That, that would make sense why, like, Hogma Canyon is high up here and why it's so deep down here, and why you have to, like, use a chocobo that can glide around to get around. Seeing these ruins, I can't help wondering what this place must have looked like when it was first built. Never imagined I'd get this invested, but here we are. I wonder if you can play this again. No, you can't. Salt is the answer. Salt of the earth, right. Okay, so I have this as a fast travel point. Where was that other one? I think it was here. There was there was another gliding range that was like right next to another one where yeah, it was this one. Where I was like, okay, I can just fast travel back to the other one and grab the other gliding range. 
Okay, so they're called gliding ranges. These little like ramps you can jump off of and glide from. This is a real adventure. It is. It is a real adventure. I mean, you like you go to, to this game is like so big, like you go to so many different regions and they all look so different. Oh my god, like who built these gliding ranges because like they're all just like perfectly positioned. For you to be able to get around. Night, Rebecca. Good night, Easy Carnage. Thank you so much for coming in. All right, I do have to end soon. So we're gonna get to whatever this is. That looks like a spring, maybe? Or what am I gliding towards? I have no idea, honestly. Maybe this? spring I thought it looked like a springy place Four. Only four more things before I complete the world intel for this region. You're in luck, Cloud. I've uncovered the location of a dangerous fiend. A vicious dragon seems to have awakened in the Cosmo Canyon region. Oh you boy. Ere the fair earth is dyed an even darker red. A wyvern awoken. Okay, luckily I have done so much of this world intel that the places that are showing up are nearby fast travel points I've gotten already. Okay, so I think I will end it here. I gotta let Jax out. But thank you guys so much for being here and hanging out. So I should be on tomorrow. I'm, I'm going to try to stream a little bit earlier because I um, got a bunch of errands done today, so I don't have to do them tomorrow. So I'm going to try to stream a bit earlier. And I think we should finish. We should be able to finish Cosmo Canyon, the world intel for Cosmo Canyon, since I don't have much left. And then we'll move on to the next region, which I believe should also take us into the next chapter. So we did do a lot tonight because before tonight, I I had hardly any of the world intel cleared out. Now we all, okay, so one, two, three, and then I'm pretty sure there will be another, once I do the other font after this one, then there'll probably be another one. That'll probably finish out. Oh, I also have to. I have to uh, also finish Buchenhagen's side quest. Okay, so we gotta do that. All right. Awesome stream. Good night and happy holiday. I appreciate that, Francisco. Thank you so much for hanging out. Good night and happy Easter. But we do have to raid out. So if you guys want to stick around for the raid, please do so. Um, let me see who's on. If I don't have any friends on or acquaintances on, I can look for somebody new. It is a little bit more difficult to raid somebody new on YouTube because um, I find a lot of people don't have their redirects on to accept everybody. But we can take a look. All right, so I gotta, I have to switch my TV back to 
in order to hear. This is why I, I've been turning off my PS5 lately before, because I have to switch my monitor back to my computer in order to hear YouTube. Okay, let's see, who do I have on? Who do I have on? Okay, I have a few people on. Let's see if we can find somebody new. No, oh, looks like uh we lost a a bunch of people, so maybe we uh we won't raid tonight. I don't think we've got enough people. Okay, guys, let's let's skip the raid for tonight. Looks like we lost a whole bunch of people. All right, so I should be on tomorrow night. Like I said, I'll try to stream a little bit earlier, and we will finish Cosmo Canyon region and move on to the next region. And I think that should take us into the next chapter as well. So, all right, guys, thank you so much for being here. I will see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>